What's up? Welcome to episode 30 of the Create and Execute podcast. You guys, thank you for showing up. You know, we have a very special guest here today. I don't know if he's a guest, if not a regular at this point. We got Tulani. Yes, sir. What's um, going on? Second time you guys seen him. Um, he's been in behind the scenes two times already. Um, so this is like his fourth time being here. I think he even got Carl beat for being a regular, right? <laughs> and of course, you know, we got Matias. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's get it. And, you know, we got me. And, of course, we got Lulu behind the scenes. Um, Actually, not behind the camera this time. This time, we actually got a real professional. I don't know if you guys see the lighting, right? The lighting looked great. The sound is even better than usual, right? We got Victor. Um, We don't have a camera angle for Victor. But <laughs> believe me when I say he's a professional. He's a handsome-looking dude. Reach out to the Create Next Q podcast if you want his digits, you want his number, you want his socials. We got all that, all right? You, yo, ladies, I got you. You know, Valentine's Day is coming up. We working on something. You know, Socialist is working on something, too. We got y'all, man. I don't know. Speed dating, uh, maybe something. But anyway, episode 30, we are talking about how the Ravens lost. You know, uh, Swifties are going to the Super Bowl. We're also going to talk about, uh, we might talk about Nicki Minaj. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> who knows where this goes? But our main topic is um, how do you actually get into tech? Um, and what is the processes behind the scenes? Because a lot of times you hear like, yo, I want to break into tech. And you don't understand that like, yeah, but you're going to need to know like some high level math. Not too crazy math, but it's good to know some high level maths. And there's a lot of other things that go into actually breaking into tech. It's not just what you see on social media, not just what you see on TikTok of like, oh, yo, I broke into tech by just applying for Apple. And it's like, yo, what does Apple do? Behind the scenes, it's a lot of people that's coding. If you're not in sales, if you're really going technical, there's a lot of people that are actually coding the stuff that you guys like to be on your phone all the time. If you're trying to get into Facebook, Meta or whatever, there's a lot of coders that are writing the code for you to swipe all day and for the design to look great. So we want to talk a little bit about that. How do you get into it? What does it actually look like? What does it actually entail? So stay tuned. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Good to be here. You know, no longer a special guest at this point, I don't think. So uh, definitely good to be here. Yeah, definitely not a special guest anymore. We're going to have to... Anymore. Add you to like payroll of um, the Red Bulls, right? <laughs> that this guy's always start paying me, man. <laughs> I'm doing all these free appearances and whatnot, and hey, I'm yo. just playing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just messing around. <laughs> Hopefully, it builds like builds off of your brand. Your absolutely, own brand, yeah, right? Yeah. Absolutely, because I want people to come on and it be less like you're begging for a job, but you're actually being on the forefront of like, yo, no, I really know my stuff. Like, right. Right. so it's not like you're just seeking out jobs. People actually come on and be like, yo, he really knows his stuff. Let me reach out to him. Right. So right. hopefully that helps with like just your endeavors in general. Cause I don't want people to only come on here and think linearly of like, no, nah, I got to go beg for a job. Right. It's like, I mean, yeah, if you want that to be your life, but <laughs> like at the end of the day, these business owners are strangers to you and they don't have to hire right. you if they right. don't want to hire right. you. Right. Yeah. Right? If you're not qualified, they don't feel like you're qualified. For hey. sure. So, appreciate you for coming on all the time. Absolutely. He is actually in finance, you guys. So, like, if you want to know more about finance, you're trying to like, yo, what the heck is a stock? Go watch, rewatch the episode. We also have clips of what he when he was talking about what a stock is, what an ETF is. If you want to get a hold of your finances. Yes. Hit this and, guy up. Uh, you know, just something to add in. We got something special coming in the works, you know. So, uh, definitely excited to share that with you guys soon, for sure. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, and Matias, if you want to learn about music and cars, hey, yeah, definitely sure. reach out, right? Instead of you just having to like, yo, I got to hit these people up. Well, they people hit you up to play music. Right, right. So you're good on that front. Yeah. But like in general, I feel like, you know, you have to put yourself out there to be more than just a, oh, work for hire. Right. And nobody knows me. It's just a, a random resume. It's just like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. You may I mean, or may not have the qualifications. I'm on Instagram too. They can follow me on Instagram. Uh, I have a I have a car Instagram. Yeah. Oh, you made it. Yeah, but I already posted like oh, okay. few pictures in them, bro. Oh, okay. Shout it out. Shout it out. Oh yeah, the Instagram is M A T T H Slow I S three hundred. Come race me, I'm slow. <laughs> <laughs> He's not slow at all. Yo, don't race these guys, man. If you're gonna race, go to an actual place. 
a racetrack. I mean, yeah, exactly. You're, a racetrack, you're not really racing. Cause you're racing. You are nah, racing. That is just, racing. You just, you, just <laughs> your you just pushing your car to the limit to see how how, how good your car is. Yo, on the track. don't don't do street racing, man. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. Not, don't put I, other people I was in danger. Joking. Yeah, he was definitely joking. I, I was definitely joking. You know definitely what I'm joking. Like don't like don't don't see me on Route 24. <laughs> definitely joking. <laughs> So what do y'all feel about that um, Ravens game though? We we gotta get it. Uh, it was um, Ravens and Chiefs. It was certainly disappointing. I will say that. Yeah. You know, for the least, um, I think more so because this just solidified my belief and my theory that the NFL is rigged. Definitely. Uh, and it's just nothing's like fair anymore. You right, know what right, I mean? Right, Where right. I thought the Ravens were gonna actually like win it this year. Right. I really did. Um, but. You know, uh, Curlin actually made a good point the other day to me when uh, we met up and um, he was saying that there was, you know, this, I thought of it as like a theory at first, but I was like, wait a minute, he might be onto something, you know, where he stated that basically uh, the Chiefs, well, Travis Kelsey specifically, him dating Taylor Swift and, you know, being involved in that whole situation um to increase viewership in the Super Bowl and add on like an additional maybe like five to ten million people to right. watch it. Right. Um basically, you know, the Chiefs were set to win and they were like just slated to win because they want additional viewership in the Super Bowl, which entails, you know, the NFL being able to charge these companies way more because that's, you know, it's boosting their estimated viewership. Right. Um and sort of, they're able to charge more. I think, at the end of the day, it's all about money with, like, a lot of corporate entities, you know? Mm -hmm. And the NFL being huge, um, I think any chance that a corporation gets to boost their revenue and add on, you know, a, a few hundred million in revenue, then they're going to take that opportunity. Of so, course. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely disappointing, though. Yeah, because my theories on that is, like... We're going to watch the Super Bowl regardless. No, no, for sure, for sure. For <laughs> sure. Yeah. Taylor Swift fans are not going to watch it regardless. But They're no. just like, unless what, unless my boyfriend drags me, or if Taylor Swift's in it, then I'm watching yes. it. Right. For us, we're just like, hey, bro, <laughs> I'm a, I'm an avid NFL watcher. Me, not right. anymore. But right. either way, it's like, I'm watching the Super Bowl. Right. So for them, they're just like, yo, bro, how do we get viewerships? They're watching it regardless, so it doesn't matter who wins. But how do we get them to watch? Hey, we got to force a win out of... Kansas City. Right. So. Bro, I found out that the NFL was yeah. rigged. I already knew it was rigged a minute ago. You feel me? Right. But uh, I was watching, you know, the theory they have every, like, the, the past three years, they they show the, the Super Bowl color. Mm -hmm. And it's always those two team, team that matches the colors that I always go. And people thought it was Baltimore and San Francisco. In, uh, San Francisco. But I looked I looked at the at the thing. Lions also blue. And, and uh, Kansas also red. So I'm like, yeah, bro, that makes sense. But you know, I'm that's not even a point. The colors always match. Yeah, it match regardless. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? I gotta see, I gotta look that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Never even thought about that. But yeah, uh, and uh I saw I was watching last game. There was, there was a lot of like bad plays in there, the last game. Uh mm -hmm. uh Kansas against the Bills. The Bills, yeah. Yeah, the one play that, that took me is it was like a 20 second play, bro. Mahomes was just just standing there looking for somebody to be open. <laughs> and I'm looking at the defenders, bro. They were they they were just going, they were just like, they, nobody was pushing nobody. It was just them looking at Patrick Mahomes, like, bro, what are y'all doing? I just turned it off. I, I don't even know what happened after that. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> you were like, I'm not watching this. Bro. No, nah, I can definitely agree with you, Matias. Like, where yeah. I think the play that sent me was just the ending, where yep. um, I think the Bills kicker hit like a far field goal. It was like pretty far out it, earlier in the game. In the game, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then, like, at the end, to tie the game and send it to OT. 27, like it's like 27 yards out, and he misses it like far off. <laughs> and I'm like, well, at least make it believable. You feel me? Yeah, yeah all right. He, like, he did it. He was like, bro, you know what? At Straight least something it. believable. But that's when I was just like, yeah, he this choked. is. Ain't no way he choked. There's no, no way. way he choked. Ain't no way, bro. I think ultimately, the, um, sometimes what I think about is that teams will sort of make agreements with other teams and just be like, hey, you know, like we are slated to make X amount of millions of dollars or whatever. Mm -hmm. we'll, sh we'll, we'll like profit share this with you. Right, right. Like we'll give you some of this money so that you can do recruiting or whatever and all that stuff. 
I don't. Yeah, I just think the NFL is just he is definitely rigged. Super rigged, bro. Yeah. <laughs> is sports in general rigged? Professional sports. sports, sports yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Professional sports specifically, because I just think that there's too much money on the line, mm-hmm. um, and there's too much at stake for bigger um, sports teams to just throw it all away or, or you know, do certain things. But no, I don't think like all sports are, are rigged. Um, I think that collegiate sports, there's still some some fairness in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think it's getting a little bit straight away because like the NIL deals and all this stuff oh, that yeah. like money is brought into it now right. and all that stuff. So yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, whoever could pay the most. I feel like for colleges, whoever could pay the most in NIL deals will right. get the best players. Right. Correct. Which will then just be like, all right, well, they're not cheating. It's just, bro, you're getting 18 year olds. You're getting like, the best 18 yeah. year olds, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Straight out of Miami. Hmm? I said, straight out of Miami. <laughs> straight out of Miami. Yeah, they all go to Alabama, bro. <laughs> yeah. Not anymore. Now not anymore. They all left. Yeah. 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 They're so, they're ooh. all going to Ohio State oh, yeah, now. Yeah. That's the yep. new Alabama. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I saw I, like Ohio been been good. It been tough. Though. They yeah. have. They yeah. have. But I've seen like so many recruits um, delist and and enter the transfer portal from Bama, mm-hmm. and a lot of them like the top recruits have gone to wow. uh, OSU. Yeah. All work. Mm-hmm. How do? What does that mean for Alabama? Because Nick Saban Nick Saban was essentially their economy. So like, how what is Alabama gonna do if they don't have Roll Tide dominating? I think that they're still going to be dominant. They're still going to be top contenders. Will they be like maybe a top five next year? I don't know, but I think that just Bama as a name and just as the school in general, they've been a, a school that's focused on collegiate sports right. and bringing professional talent to the table Mm -hmm. uh and so i think that they're always going to have a space in terms of um recruiting top talent right yeah but i don't think that i think that people are gonna think outside of bama now right and they're going to reevaluate their choices and see where they could get the most money first of all Mm -hmm. like in nil deals and whatever else uh and then where they can fit into the organization and sort of like be a star yeah yeah or they could just look for people out of out of the U.S. like Canada or Hawaii or something. Mm-hmm. Hawaii got a lot of good good players too. Yeah. So they they. What have, do y'all feel about the duality with like sports and college though? Because I feel like and this is of course no disrespect to anybody from Alabama, but like I don't see them as a top tier college when it comes to academics. So like that's true. if you're not going there to play football and they're losing. <laughs> are you still going to be like, yeah, I want to go to Alabama, even though Nick Saban's not there and they're no longer a top 10 team? And like, unless you live in Alabama and there's like incentives of like, yo, in-state is way cheaper. But like, are you really going to be like, oh, I really want to go to Alabama, even though they suck now? Yeah. And their education know. has never been heard of as a great yeah, right, education. Right, right. Yeah, I like, think still, to be honest, because most collegiate sports players have in mind going professional in their sport, I right. think. Right. Mm-hmm. And so just the name that Alabama has been able to create for themselves, even in basketball, like men's basketball, mm-hmm. they've always they been good? pretty That's solid. Like yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. They've always been pretty solid in men's basketball. So it's not just football. Um, I think that they have just good sports teams in general. Mm-hmm. And they have the resources and the people available to basically propel you to the next stage of, of professional sports. Okay. So I think that even though there's not the academic factor in there, um, if you're looking at your main school, like your big your big schools and stuff like that, like your Michigan, um, maybe not Michigan because Michigan has like pretty good academics, yeah. but um, your Ohio States maybe or um, what's another one? Like your USC's. Well, USC is a good school, but ultimately what I'm trying to say is that yeah. I think that they're still going to choose Alabama. Maybe not like their first choice, but I think, yeah, I well, think that they'll still choose it. Yeah. yeah. Got to check what the pricing is for Alabama. Yeah, it's it's in the South, so it's no, a no, lot. No, it should be a lot cheaper. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no? You would assume that. Because there's different uh, college uh, universities in Alabama, though, but that, that one, because yeah. since it's D1, I don't know a D1 school. Auburn, yeah. I don't know a D1 school that's cheap. No. In my opinion. No? Nah. No. Nah. No, even, unless it's a state school, right? No. State school, D1, though. Even state schools are expensive? I was looking at... um. When I was first enrolling into college, like after um, senior year in 2016, 
I was looking at um, University of Houston because I was living in Texas at the time. Right. I was looking at University of Houston, Texas A and M, and UT Austin, mm-hmm. and they were all like, I think UH University of Houston was the cheapest one, where it was like a little bit over thirty. That's not bad. Um, but A and M was forty six plus. Yeah, that's in state. Well, um, that was that was out of state because uh, I was insane. still considered like I was there for only ten months. That's crazy. Yeah, but even still, forty six, but. In state was around like thirty two a year for A and M, which is still steep. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, they putting everybody in debt. I thought it was cheaper for those down south colleges. You would think so. Damn, you know, some some other school like some other schools or D two or D three. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they way cheaper. Like in Alabama, because I know that because Stacy was trying to go to a school in Alabama. I think yeah for aviation, oh, it was yeah. like twenty some, twenty some. The most was like thirty some with dorm and everything. Wow, yeah, yeah which is pretty cheap. Not cheap at all though, but. That's pretty cheap. That's pretty yeah. cheap compared to, you yeah. know, other places, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yo, um, speaking about Texas, and I'm trying to work on my segues, um, what do you feel about uh, Megan the Stallion, because she's from Texas, right. versus Nicki Minaj? She was dissing, she dissed Nicki Minaj, but she dissed a bunch of people. You know what's funny? I actually, before we started the episode, I was like sitting on the couch and I was just briefly reading over it. So I just yeah. found out about right. it, actually. Right. Um, I don't know. I just think that if it's really over uh, Nikki not wanting to get liquor poured down her throat, if that's what she says, then that's such a stupid reason yeah, to be beef. Like a know? kid reason. You yeah, know like, that's so stupid. Like, mm-hmm. oh, you, you don't want to be my friend? Like, well, screw you then. You know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. kind of what I take away from it. So I don't know. But at the same time, I also think that a lot of these music artists, uh, create drama unnecessary drama to get clout yeah and promote their own projects and promote their own brand and likeness Mm -hmm. so i mean me i'm just a drama free guy i don't like to be in drama or like read about celebrities drama or anything like that i just happen to come across it but i just think it's stupid yeah i feel you but you know we're on a podcast so sometimes you're just like all right i guess i gotta talk about it (laughs) because Y'all don't want to hear about tech all the time. We right, can talk right, about right. tech and finances all day, right, but then right, they'll absolutely. be like, yeah, but I want to hear about the latest drama right. with this person. It's <laughs> like, I, I guess right. we'll talk about it. Like, it's entertaining, but you yeah. don't want to put that negativity out, but then you're just like, all right, if y'all want to talk about it, we'll talk about it. Right. But, uh, do you know the reason why they, they were beefing, though? Like, the actual um, reason why? Or? I mean, definitely one was to get clout. Well, for, I, mean, yeah, yeah, I think she that. has a project coming out. Probably. Yeah. Um, But also, apparently, I think, I think Nikki was telling her to get was that her telling her to get an abortion or something like that? Uh I think it was the or, the latter. Um Megan was telling her to get an abortion and um mm. like go to the clinic or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Yo, how she knows she she has a she was pregnant? quote unquote pregnant. Yeah. Uh, industry stuff they probably told him. yeah everything gets they, gets around fast yeah. in the industry. It, it's like that Mick Mick Mills in uh and Drake beef in 2014 was oh, it? Oh man, that yeah. was, that was that was something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was something for yeah. sure. Woo. But Megan was uh, was a uh, quote unquote dying a little bit though, because I haven't heard her in a minute. Yeah, same actually. But I it, it does make sense for her to do that though. Mm-hmm. I mean, the track was hot. The track was hot, and of course, you know, Nikki and her fans they kind of overreact. Of course, we don't not like Nikki. Okay, I really enjoyed Nikki's I, music. I think I like Nikki okay? over Meg actually. Yeah, me yeah. Make, I, exactly. I mean, she I makes mean, a lot of great music. Music, musically, <laughs> Nikki obviously is better. Than this. Yeah. So we in just want to preference that. <laughs> in my opinion, in my opinion, because last time one of our clips went viral, just like yo, bro. It was, we it was we like her. We just you could just critique people, bro. Yeah, it is right. okay. Right. We were saying she doesn't age gracefully. I was saying she doesn't age gracefully. I don't want to add you to it. You're right, right. <laughs> and they were chewing me up in the comment section. It went viral over it, or viral to our standards. Yeah. We're just saying, again, I don't know how old Meg is, but I'm pretty sure Nikki's in her 40s. Why are you beefing? Why are you on the phone? You're bugging Industry, out. Yeah. You're on yeah. camera. Understandable. And and you your response her response it was just like yo it seems like you're on drugs because you're like all over the place. Oh, you're talking about Meg? No, no, um, Nikki. Nikki? I mean, Nikki. Like she was on camera talking. It was just like, why does it seem like you're all over the place with this? Like, just say one thing and then move on to the next thing. But it was just like, I mean, she she does. I think she does podcasts and everything too. But she always talk about a lot of different shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, with I think she did one with a what's his name Lil Wayne and everything. And some other rappers, like, quote unquote, cool with. One of the goats. It, yeah, it's always Wayne, like that. Man. She talks slowish. I don't hate Nikki, though. She just talks mass slow when, she, when she's, like, explaining <laughs> stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, <laughs> just in case. Yeah, you got to think that, about bro. her yeah. thoughts, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, you know what I'm saying? She, I know she don't talk slow. Because she been on the on the casting it, uh, podcast, mm-hmm. which was lit, like, by the way. Yeah? Yeah, like, it, it was lit. Look, you know. uh, I watched You said like Casanova's? No, ca- no uh, Casanet. Casanet. Oh, Casanet. 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 Is that what it is? Casanet? Casanet? Yeah. Casanet, yeah. Come on, bro. He hates you, man. He's ICS, yeah, yeah. man. Hey, he's not in Jamaican, bro. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but his dad is Haitian. Yeah. Yes, but he yeah. doesn't doesn't know his dad. Nah. So he doesn't know his Haitian roots, but he's Haitian. He's admitted it. Mm. Yeah, man. So come on, get his name right, I mean, bro. Yeah, Nick, Nicky, Nicky is it. You know what I'm saying? It just the some certain shit that she talks about. I'm like, ah, right, but like, I don't. I personally don't understand what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? But but you, as a rapper or musician, mm-hmm. she's a great musician. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, okay. I don't know how to segue this, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. Um, you just go straight into just it. Just go straight into straight it. Into it. It's going to sound weird, bro. Straight into it. Yo, how do you break into tech? <laughs> I guess <laughs> we can say that. No, no. All right. Um, we want to talk about, like, what does it mean to actually break into tech? What? And, yeah, go ahead. What does that mean? To break into tech? Break into tech. tech. Yeah. So, like, you getting a tech job, but not in the sense of, like, sales and you're selling Got the you. product, got but you're you. actually a technical writer. You're got writing you. like code. Coding everything you got. Yeah. You. Um, so you're not selling the product. You. And you're not just like, yo, I'm the social media marketer or something. It's like, I don't... Would you guys consider that being into tech? Breaking into tech? A social media marketer? Yeah. I don't think so. No, that's in marketing. Yeah. That's exactly. Oh, that's like, yeah. Okay, that's, cool. a, that's that degree. The marketing degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, actually, like that, that, that's, that's, that's not tech at all. When I think tech, I think of like... Entry level would probably be like a help desk technician or something like that. Okay. Um, or someone that is in a tech facing role, meaning like you're either like a software engineer like yourself, mm-hmm. um, or you are like I guess you could put data science in there, um, because there is like tech roles that are specifically for data science and data in general and collecting data and reporting on it is is within the realm of tech that's okay. um yeah I, I think of those things but definitely not like a social media or brand ambassador or gotcha. like a marketer or something yeah. like that Business yeah major yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah those are like more tech adjacent it's yeah. like yo you work for a company that is yeah. tech but you're not really yeah, gotcha. yeah no no gotcha. yeah. you're in a different division okay but you yeah. can start there though yeah, you, you can definitely start can, there. and then transfer over. Right. Yeah, for sure. Once you get your foot in the door, you could definitely do that. Yeah. So, what would you guys consider like breaking into tech, or what would you say your definition is? Like, if you'd be like, "Yo, yeah, you broke into tech when you do this," what would you guys say that is? I think you broke you broke into tech when, like, specifically like tech tech, when you become either like a software engineer or a software um, developer mm-hmm. or Something to do with software. Hardware can also be like included into tech as well. Yeah. Um. I don't know many hardware roles, but from what I've seen in like bigger corporations and stuff like that, and just yeah. you know people surrounding me, it's more so like I I would say, okay, like you've arrived here now okay. that like you're a software developer, data scientist, or um a software engineer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, same question. Yeah, I'll say, uh, I'll say if you're creating a uh, servers. Or like let's say it's cool or whatever, so people can stay in that, that server, or mm-hmm. whatever. I'll say you working for tech because I that's, I started doing that when I that's when I did That's true too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's true too. It's, it's I'm not gonna say it's pretty easy, but like it's like the it's just it's just uh tech work that you could do, just creating so uh servers and everything. Mm-hmm. Every year, if you want to, you could like recreate it because you know when people graduate, they could try to hop on the same server yeah. for free. You know what I'm saying? Try to like create codes. Mm-hmm. Or you that's how I used to, used to test my code. I'll go on the school server and I just download it on my laptop. Use a uh, ATTP or whatever it was. I forgot what it was, and then type the code and then go online because it was free. It was free online. I didn't have to buy a, like a website. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll I'll get a free online and then check to see how the code is. And I'll say if you're doing that for the school and everything, yeah. or creating service or creating uh networks where uh, you have a uh, where like you create website blocks and everything, you know, for schools and everything. Mm-hmm. I'll say you basically break in a tech. tech? Okay, yeah, in my opinion. How many years of schooling did? you have to do before you could get that job that job yeah personally i knew i know the dude but uh <laughs> but you you could do internship and they could start you with that i mean most it internship they start you with fixing laptops it's boring bro not laptops like computers you rebuild the computers mm-hmm. to a certain ex- extent bro like you come here every week 
to do the same shit. Like, all right, let's say you want to upgrade your, your CPU. What do you do? You obviously know everything. It's, to, it, you're not going to find a job where that's all you're going to be doing. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I think, like, I think, think about, like, it took me about a week. I'm not lying to you. A week to, to get the internship. But the job, I'll say finish your internship and try to work there. And then Okay. Internship probably like a what, year? the semester? Yeah. Like Oh, the whole year? Oh, whole year? year? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, year-long yeah. internship? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because then you got to get to practicing yeah. besides actually learning. Okay. Were you saying that you got the internship because of who you knew or you got the job because of who you knew? I got the internship because of I didn't get the job because I didn't stay at the internship because... Okay. Uh, mental health uh, purposes. <laughs> Why do you smile when you said that? <laughs> like he was lying. <laughs> no, I'm not lying, but yeah. <laughs> Say, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, nah. He like, always <laughs> seems like he's doing something shady, I swear. I swear, bro. Nah, that's what, it's, what it is, you know what uh, I'm saying? Okay. You gotta smile through the pain, you feel me? Nah, man. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. I feel that, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so you definitely need, like, some level of education. I would say, to yeah. get into tech. Of course, um, definitely. Would you say a high school education is good enough? Y'all think? Yes. I think yes, yes for certain positions, but I also think that like for some tech, if it's not like entry level, because some, some companies are just willing to like teach you as you go along. Right. Yeah. Right. But um, I think if you just have a general curi- curiosity in tech, then you'll maybe like do... Uh, maybe like you'll learn a stack or something like that, like Python or right. something that's like fairly easy and you can teach yourself on your own. Mm-hmm. Or um, you might go to a boot camp out of high school or something like that. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I think I think definitely a high school diploma is enough to get into tech. For enough to get into like most industries where it it's not heavily regulated. Like if you're not going yeah. for like a doctor, a lawyer, or something right. like that, or you're just like a business marketing major or something like that, or you're interested in that, um, tech, finance, all that stuff. I don't think that you need these crazy degrees or MBAs, masters, yeah. like PhDs, all that stuff. No. Yeah, right. yeah no, nah, I'm with you on that. Yeah. Um, but you do need to, you need to know your, I mean, you definitely got to hustle and you also need to know like your shit. Like, right. absolutely. If you're just a lazy person, you're right. probably not going to get the job just right. by applying. Right. I will say though, I'll say though, like yeah. uh knowing how to code and being consistent with coding is two different like two different things. Cause yeah. you, you 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 can know how to code, it's pretty easy. I did JavaScript, HTML. Nah, I can't re- really remember a lot about JavaScript. I could I could relearn HTML quicker quicker than JavaScript, but mm-hmm. that's what but you do need to be stay consistent with learning new stuff because you know obviously tech is evolving, it's not the same. It's, they 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 make easier way to go around like uh building certain stuff. Instead of you writing a whole code for like one movement, you could just use one code now. Like, like you told me, I think a year ago, we started doing a the program we did. But mm-hmm. out of high school, you definitely could do it because I could have done it. I almost did it out of uh, internship at State State Street. Mm-hmm. Suppose I was supposed to work with them for like two years, mm-hmm. and if I succeed or whatever, I could work for them. So that that could could work out of high school. But I don't know if I don't know if a, if just a, the, a high school degree could help you get a a good, not a good, just a start at a tech, as a job, not 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 as a job. Probably not as a job. No, yeah, no, because like I feel that I don't know. I obviously I feel totally different than a lot of corporate entities where I think that like yeah, if someone expresses interest and they're they know their stuff and you know they're they're willing and eager and they're like very teachable and you know you can bring them on and teach them new things and they're not just like very one one-sided thinking mm-hmm. i think that yeah that it's definitely enough yeah. but to go to like if you were to go to like your googles or your facebooks and stuff like that like they want to see an accredited university information on there right um just naturally speaking depends on the position yeah yeah because yeah. um google apple they do like hiring seasons so where like anybody could really apply, and as long as you actually pass the interviews, they'll hire you. But, Interesting. Yeah. But if you're like trying to get some senior level L six <laughs> level, then they're gonna be like, ah, yeah, bro, like, tripping, who bro. are you? Yeah. And they're like, do you do you qualify for yeah, this? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the, even yeah. that, I think sometimes they'll give you the interview if you really seem like, nah, this person seems like they really know their stuff, right? right. Yeah. And they got a real credible recommendation from somebody that I know. 
then you could actually skip the line and actually get a right. get a potential interview there. But right. Google, those large companies, Google, like Amazon, they'll really give a chance, give you a chance on like anybody. I, I don't know about yeah. anybody because I did, it, I did, uh, I did the entry level for Google. I didn't get it. I didn't get an email back. No, that's what I'm saying. It's they, they, anybody can apply. Yeah, I, you don't have yeah. to like. Yo, I have to have a degree. Like, anybody could get, I'll apply. I'll apply. Yeah. And they'll pretty much take everybody. They'll sift through a bunch of like. They right. probably have an AI thing that sifts through yeah. a bunch of resumes. Right, right. But they'll take everybody in hiring season. Then they're just like, all right, well, can you answer this hard math problem? And right. you're just like, nope. All right, well, you're disqualified. Yeah. Um, next right. person, right. can you answer this hard um equation? This tech equation. Nope. All right, now you're disqualified. Yeah. Next, so they do it like yeah. So anybody can apply. And anybody but you, you can can't do it. you can't just put just entry hard. level though. You, like if you know you're not you're not taking any entry level. That's that's why that's what they what do. Like they say entry level uh, like code coders. Mm -hmm. Like you can apply to like as an entry level coder and you can start working at Apple. Mm -hmm. You got to do the computer interview. If you pass that, you get an actual in person yeah. interview and everything, and you start working that. I, I did it, bro. Their, oh, their interview process is ridiculous. It's, crazy. it's, it's not like, even one. It's, probably very it's, like, it's like five. Yeah. yeah. It's a, like you said, it's, it's like five. It's yeah. a lot. And you're yeah. interviewing like, yo, you got to do this leak code question in yep. front of this person. Then you got to do another leak code question in front of this other person. Yep. Then you got to do behavioral. If they don't like your behavior, then yep. you're just like, all right, well, I passed yep. the three. Yep. I passed the first two and I failed the yep. third one because I'm just awkward. Now I'm just like, yeah. dang, I now I can't get a job. It's real. Yeah. It, they kind of have to reduce it. But at the same time, it seems like everybody wants to work at those companies right. like Google, Facebook, Apple, right. um, Tesla. Everybody wants to work there, so they're just like, well, we have to make it rigorous, I sure. guess, if it's high demand. Tesla's crazy. Though. It now, just sucks. Question. When you, when you say um, behavioral, how are they testing you on your behavior? Like, what kinds of questions do they ask? Um, so, see, this is where it gets, like, yeah. kind of shady and kind of effed up right. because, like, if you're, let's say somebody from the South is applying for a create and execute, and we're just like, all right, we're going to do behavioral. Their behavior is probably normal in Texas. And then when they That's talk to saying, us, yep. it's like, we're like, what the, why are they acting like that? Right. It's like, no, this is normal. Every Texas right. person be like, no, that's yeah. normal behavior. You're disqualifying yeah. them for normal behavior. Right. So it's, it's always dicey. It'll, it'll be questions of like, oh, yo, like, how do you react to this situation? Yo, yeah. in this situation. So it's just regular interview questions. They just call it behavioral. Of like, uh, yo, um, tell me a time that um, you disagreed with a coworker. Yep. Tell me a time that you disagreed with, like, a manager. Uh, it'll be stuff like that. And then they got I feel like, though, with those types of questions, maybe it's, it's just me and my way of thinking, but I feel like with those questions, it's not necessarily easy, but... Obviously, you want to tell them what they want to hear, yeah. right? Yeah. Like you're just gonna be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah," you know, like if I like how if you disagreed with right. a coworker or whatever that question, you just be like, "Yeah, like you know, I disagreed with a coworker, but I brought them aside and you know, we got a nice quiet room uh, and we, we like, brainstormed like, like, ideas yeah. with each other <laughs> <laughs> and came up with a viable solution yeah. and." We uh we shook hands and then we went to lunch together. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you can say that, but you know, they want to think you like, ain't no way. Yeah, they're gonna be like, yeah, you no cap. They're gonna, so they're, gonna, they're gonna be like, yeah, you cap it. You lied to my face. I'm good, bro. I'm good. I would say you just gotta keep it a buck. Just like, yeah, yeah. Uh, as long as your answer is not too fluffy like that. Right, and it's right. not like, right. nah, I cussed them out. I was just like, yo, bro, you better watch your mouth. Yeah. As long as you didn't do that, yeah, then I think yeah, you'll yeah. be okay. Yeah. But I have heard like people say like. Um, yo, I didn't get the job because they said I wasn't a culture fit. And you're right. just like, what the heck does that mean? Right. <laughs> That's mad vague. What do you mean you're not a culture yeah. fit? And I'm assuming that they don't give you any types of like feedback on this. Uh, in the behavioral, no. Nah, it's literally just a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. damn near like a podcast. You're yeah. just talking, hey, how's it going? Right. Oh, you're good. Yeah, I'm good. Yo, I'm, I'm nervous. Oh, don't, yo, don't worry about it. We'll just chat for a little bit before we start the interview. And then once you're like, oh, okay, cool. This is another human I'm talking to. Right. You really just have to just once you just realize, like, bro, yeah. I didn't pay for this interview, so I'm not losing anything. It's right. literally just a conversation with another human that is probably insecure and awkward, just right. like me. Right. I'm just gonna talk to them and see how stuff goes. Sure. You get it. You get it. You don't. You yeah. don't. Right. The yeah. only thing you have to worry about is if you actually know your stuff when it comes to a technical. That's right. me. That's always my but, like perspective on it. But I feel like you did, there's certain jobs you you don't really need to be asking that question if if you're going to teach. The people that, that that are getting a job, whatever they need to do to mm -hmm. like to actually do the job, 
Like I, I work for I work for Amazon, like as a manager, quote unquote. I was hiring people. And when they get there, they're all nervous and shit. I'm like, bro, listen, if if you pass this stage and you 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 got to like talk to me at the interview, bro, you getting a job. I I'm personal kid. That's how I told him, like, bro, I don't understand. Yeah, like, like, I like that. Bro, bro, I, bro, they had to follow me for like they told me to, to, to for them to follow me for 10 stops so I could show them how to do it. I'm like, bro, listen. When you get the job, I'm gonna teach you. You you could go, bro. I, I haven't followed me for the first time. Like, right, this is what, how you do it. None. I tell you right now, you're not gonna remember that shit, cause, bro, you got you gotta wait a wait a week till you get the job. I told him, bro, I understand how it is, bro. It's COVID. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Everybody needs a job. I'm not gonna bullshit you. Yeah. I, I tough on it, whatever, bro. I, you got the job, but you smooth. As long, yeah, as, long yeah. as you pass the background check, but you smooth. That's how I was, cause you, you they're gonna teach you how to do the job when you get to the job. So it it was pretty useless to me to see how they act. He, mm-hmm. he always asks me, yo. How did that person do? Like, does he look like he could do the job? Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, he falling for 10 star, bro. He did yeah. smooth. Always laugh on him. I'm like, but <laughs> you gonna teach him. As soon as you get the job, the first thing they do is uh, they put somebody with you. You go drive with them for like the first 50, 50 star, or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. You teach them how to do it. So it was useless for me to like, actually to have him follow me. I'm like, bro, you won't get the job if, it, if it's me, bro. That's, yeah, I feel everybody you. Everybody out there, bro, they all got the job. I feel, really I feel you. I'm the same way where I'm just like, bro. If it's do or die on me, you're getting it, bro. I'm yeah. not about to be that guy yeah. that you're like, now I don't got a job. It's yeah. like, bro, you yeah. got it. I don't care how you act. You yep. got it. It's, if it's do or die on me. <laughs> yeah. That's how I be feeling. But I do see them on the other side. No, no like, for sure. Because for sure. even for, I'll say the Amazon example. Right. Like, when they had somebody shadow me, the right. person was like an ex-convict, like right. right? And he still acted like, like he was talking about the crime that he did oh, and he was still acting like yo bro i would have gotten away with it if, if he ain't learned his lesson bro. Yeah, and i was oh, just like this is like yo bro we just we just deliver packages i don't know why you're telling me this <laughs> and it was like he was upset about it It was like yo still passed him but i was just like i could see why like if you yeah. had anybody else yeah. they would have failed you bro yeah, right, like right, right. he was sleeping like in the bed, he was just like, "Yo, bro, we're not done yet." It's like, "Yo, trust me, bro. This is just the beginning. Man. Yeah. This is an eight-hour shift, yeah. if not ten sometimes." Yeah. Like technically, on paper, it's ten. It's 10 they right. had us do four days a week. Sure, yeah. sure. But it was just like, "Yo, bro, like you could do it in eight hours if you're really good at it." But he was, he was sleeping by hour three. It was just like, "Yo, bro, I, how yo, do we? Man. How do you do this?" I'm like, "Yo, yo, we got a long way to go." But I was just like, "Yo, bro, you're good. I'm not about to fail you, man. Nah. That's kind of messed up. Yeah. You just got out of jail, yeah. like you're looking for a job, and then to be that guy to be like, yeah, nah, yeah. he's not a good fit. And then now he, he's going to be like, well, I'm going to resort back to crime then because yeah. I can't. I tried to get a job. Yeah. It's like, nah, bro. Even you, you weren't really working hard at the job. That's that's what most people don't get. Like, you get the job, and then now you're mad because they having you do actual job at the job. <laughs> yeah. So now you, you, you would have doing quit. real work. <laughs> you know, I'm like, bro, what, what are you doing, bro? But, but now I understand though. But like. Like the the cohort thing, mm-hmm. like he he should just should have just picked me, bro. You feel me? <laughs> I'll pick you because he about to, he about to teach me how to do stuff. You feel me, like, bro? Why I gotta go to uh, through three interviews just so you could teach me some stuff? You feel me, like, bro? In my opinion, it's doing the most. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I understand you gotta see if they're motivated to do the the thing. Yeah. But three interviews, crazy in my opinion. Yeah, yo, that's that's tech though. Yeah, so if yeah, you guys yeah. are trying to break into tech, understand. Most places are not going to just do one interview. Nah, Most nah, places are going to nah. have you do. They're going to make you interview the um, hiring. They're going to make you interview what's it called the um, recruiter. The recruiter. The recruiter is going to yep. talk to you. Yep. You're going to have to interview several people on the team that you're mm-hmm. trying to join. Right. And you're going to have to also interview with um, hiring the managers. hiring managers. Uh, yeah, themselves. Like right. um, whether it's the hiring managers or it's the. Um, your yeah, the hiring manager pretty much because your hiring manager will be may, will most likely be your senior engineer that's there. That's just like all right, well he's gonna be on my team. If I'm gonna have this person on my team, let me make sure they sit. They have these qualifications, and those people will have different qualifications from the other people that you interviewed with. But and it's all it's all just all over the place yep. where you're just like yo, yep. holy and all of them ask you the same questions. Um, uh, yeah, some of them will ask you the same questions, but it'll be like yo, what you like is different from what you but, like. So now you're just like, yo, like, now it's just like, I'm just trying to answer questions that are based off of you, like, I'm tired right. at this point. Because the first right. one, you may have a genuine conversation, right. a genuine interview with the first person. After the second one, you're just like, dang, you said I have one more after this? I got to talk to one more person? If, if you it's pass like, me, you got one more. Yeah, you how find many a bosses boss, do I got to find? Yeah. And it's like, yo, the hiring manager will be, yo. so you may, I may pass an interview with you, like, do a technical, I passed it with flying colors. 
And then it's like, oh, it may have to do a technical with the actual hiring manager. The hiring manager is just like, nah, I'm looking for somebody that really knows what they're doing technically because I don't have time to teach you. Right. So now you're just like, yo, I passed it with him. Then they gave me a harder one with you and I failed it. And then he, you're like, I'm only looking for somebody that knows how to code. I don't care about your behavior. And you're just like, dang, well, I failed it. But you were like, nah, but he was a great person. He was like, right. yeah, but I'm not looking for somebody that's a great person. Right. So Makes it's sense. always, there's a bunch of different right. stuff that they're looking for. That's crazy. It's really hard. It's really hard to get a yeah. job. Yeah. That's why it's always like, yo, you have to get a referral. So like, yep. you are like, you before you even met me, you're just like, oh, but Matias recommended you. Matias is a great worker. He's hard work. He really knows his stuff. And Matias also vouched for you in saying like, he'll give you some level of mentorship. So right. right. Even if you don't do that great at the interview, I know my task will help you out. Get you right, yep. Yeah, so it's it's so it's a lot. It's a lot, man. Um, and I would say to add to that, the stuff that you actually have to know to get a job is always different. As right. Well. right. Yeah, depending on like what you're trying to do. Um, so I assume in sales, or not sales, in um, dang, what is the name of your position again? Investment analyst. Yeah. So. I'm assuming not for every position, it's something it's something different that they're looking for that you have to know. Yeah. So you may, for example, you may be like, yo, I am into more safer investments. And then they're the people that you're trying to work for are just like, bro, we do crypto here. And you're just like, yeah. all right, bro. Like, I know investments. I could learn crypto, but yeah. I don't know it off the top of my head right now. And they're Man. just like, well. Too bad. Yeah, and, that, and they're just like, that's where <laughs> everybody's going towards, Both crypto. Right. So you have to go learn crypto before you can work here. And it's yeah. like, yo, that's gonna, that's not something you can just pick up tomorrow. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And it's the same thing with like normal, like normal like mechanic jobs, whatever, too. Like, mm -hmm. You could be a mechanic for 10 years, but do you know how to work on BMWs? You can't get the job because BMWs are not it, bro. Yeah. Like, it's just annoying. It's like Ford. Mm -hmm. Ford, like normal cars, Ford, they, they, it's like they put, they put the engine inside of the car or they just leave the engine there they put the car around it there's, there's no space to do anything on a car BMWs also they use different tools and their technology is, is, is stupid yeah they use very different tools yeah yeah. 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 My, my past car was a BMW so I'm yeah. very familiar like uh, I, I remember um, my friend he had gone to uh, mechanic school uh, and didn't end up finishing but still like knew how to do work on BMWs right. um and I think, like, my starter was bad. And we had to literally take off, like, part of the front end of the car. Yep. And then we had to take off, like, the engine intakes and all yep. that stuff to Damn. get to this one starter, small yep. spot yep. where the starter was, like, literally that big. Yeah, yeah. And just take that off and replace it. And then it was, like, yeah, another, yep. like, hour or two putting, <laughs> Lego on, yep. putting back on the... Yep. Yes. Yep. Literally. Car's not fun, bro. No. If it's not your car, you're not going to want to do it. Yeah, no. I guarantee you, bro. That's, that's very true. Is it a good car, BMW? Is it? You can answer that question, bro. I, I'm gonna say no, obviously, but you you can you can answer that question. I think um, design wise and overall quality, it's it's okay. Like it's they're decent cars. They look um, good. They look great. The the engines on the older ones are pretty good. They're Way pretty better. like sturdy and solid. Yep. Um, they're pretty reliable cars. But the only thing that I hated about it is that like most BMWs, once they get to like ninety thousand to a hundred thousand miles. They start giving you every everything, problem bro. in everything. the book. Yeah. I had to get everything. my coolant tank re replaced, my coolant fan twice. Yeah. Um, I had to get my starter replaced. I had to get like all my Damn. struts, my shocks, like the whole suspension. <laughs> I had to get like so many things. There was a check engine light on. I had to get my O2 sensor replaced. Yeah. I, mean, I had to get like everything. <laughs> what year is your car? What's Yo. your car? Uh, uh, 2010 X3. Damn. Hey yo, you guys go get a Honda Civic. I, yeah, <laughs> seriously, just save time and just 05. get a Honda Civic, man. Like for real, that, I got I got 120 miles on my old you know Honda. I mean? Listen, you it, you guys you gonna look good. Just get an old M3, bro. It, it it got racing pistons, bro. You you gonna be there for a minute, bro. Oh, yeah. Just get a, 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 a nineteen ninety nine M three. Look beautiful, bro. It look beautiful. You want you want a BMW? Get it. You could you could customize the interior, bro. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's that simple. Yeah. You don't need a, the newest car to look good, bro. Yeah, man. I mean BMW is alright. They they they're still the right. one of the fastest though. Bro, I always wanted a BMW, man. They're you okay. can still get a BMW, I want a BMW. I can still get it. Out of out of, out of all of the like luxury cars, like the the entry level luxury yeah. cars. I won't say like your Lamborghinis and whatever, right, whatever, right. but. Your entry level luxury cars are so like your Audis, your uh, Mercedes. Mercedes. Yeah. 
and BMW, I would take BMW over all Hell three. yeah. Yeah. Mercedes. Yeah. Audi, I'm not, we're not even gonna talk about Mercedes. Audi's not even it, bro. Like yeah. Audi, Audi's are it. trash, yeah. bro. What? Yeah. Audi's are trash, and they have like, I don't know why they have like a delayed um response. You tell, to, yeah, totally. To their, like throttle, yeah. yeah. It's weird because my dad had um, I mean, granted, he had he had like a, a station wagon Audi, um, yeah. but it was like a Quattro, and it was like um, it was supposed to be fast, but there's so many issues. It was so plagued with issues, and yeah. you know, like you would press on the gas and it would just be like like it was like yeah, yeah. and then it goes yeah. like yeah it's like delayed whereas like bmw yeah. i feel like you step on that thing you're gone like, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah no it's pretty fine they, they're very tunable too bmw's too. yeah i think they're number one now nah, i feel civics obviously but yeah number two in like most tunable cars yeah. y'all piping a tune already faster than everything no yeah. seriously like my x3 yeah, really good. was like i mean obviously you know, I was doing this safely, nah. but uh, <laughs> I topped it out at 130. Oh, you yeah, were yeah. Yes. God damn, For a 2010 bro. X3. We with, don't condone without speeding. Any model, I, like, without any mods. Like, he, was like, he was on a racetrack. I was on a racetrack. On a racetrack? He was on a racetrack. I'm going to tell you how much, how much I hit. Nah, oh, no, on a your car sounds crazy. No, not on the so freeway. Gonna... He, he was also on a racetrack. Yeah. When he I mean, I, I do a racetrack. My car, my car stock is not built. It, it's a sport car. It's a street car, obviously, but. Toyota said it's a it's a sport car. I have a Lexus Ice. They say it's oh, a sport car. Nice. Yeah, they, 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 it's smooth, but you gotta build it. That's yeah, what I'm doing. Yeah. I have like the brakes and everything. I, I took it on the on the track with stock suspension and stock uh, like brake pads and everything. Right. It is it's, it's, it's just wiggles everywhere. It's not it. Uh, That's from right now I have sport shocks and like track shocks and everything. Right, right. I'm I'm trying to race it again, but besides that, stock is not BMW stock, like like a competition or M or even an X sport. They're good on tracks, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But Toyota's, like other cars, Audi's pretty good too, depending on the R. If you get the RS, obviously, yeah. But like Toyota and like Honda, like Acura's and everything, mm -hmm. stock, they're not good on track. They're just wiggly and everything. Mm -hmm. but, how, yeah. how much have you put into your car? I put about like 1200 Okay, oh, that's not my bad. God. Bro, oh, okay. Listen, I, listen, listen, I meant 12000 nah, 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 Okay. On, on, steep. on body parts, I use, cheap, I use fake parts, obviously. I'm not... I'm not, I don't even care about how it looks. I just like I just like the sound and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, it look alright. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna use real carbon fiber. I'm not spending three hundred on on mirror covers, bro. On mirror like uh like the for the. I'm not doing that. Trust yeah. me. I just buy something for forty two dollars on on uh, eBay. You know eBay. what I'm saying? Yeah. But in the engine, I've done a lot. I tune it. I put a. I put a. I I, I do a. What do you call it? I have a tune spark plugs. I have a street street uh cold air intake right now. Mm -hmm. Exhaust obviously, and then uh, shocks right now. It's all about okay. like twelve hundred. Yeah, the shocks is more more expensive because I have dimpers. That's not yeah. that bad, honestly. Yeah, it's not bad. It's decent. Yeah, the tune is the best one. The tune, the car slow. You know what I'm saying? Stock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's slow stock. But like the tune just it just changes the torque. I where the RPM is. It just makes everything feels faster. I mean, I chew a lot of people. I, I race everything. I don't really care. I lose about like eighty percent of the time. I don't really care. You know on the I'm track, saying? like he's trying to go professional. On the track, you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. I go on the track every every night before I go to go go home, bro. Like on my way there, I hop on the track. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. blow off some steam at the track. You, you know what I'm saying. You know, I get you go it. Go straight home. You know. Yeah, what I'm yeah. Feel that. Yeah, man. Come it's on, not bro. about the fact. You you not you never gonna be the fastest guy, bro. That's why niggas don't understand. You, you never gonna be the fastest dude. I I was racing on the track. Some dude with a with a I uh it was an electric car and uh I keep winning. So we get, we got off the highway. He was like, "Bro, I'm about to train in this car, bro. It's it's too slow." I'm like, "Bro, what, you dead ass, bro? It was not that serious, bro." But he was like, "Nah, bro. It's only got 300 horsepower. I need 400." I'm like, "Bro, yeah." He was like, "You're racing me right now from the dig 100." I'm like, "Bro, are you dead ass, nigga?" I'm like, "You got it." Yeah, it's, not, it's never that serious. Highway is slang for like the race. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Race the pit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the pit. Yeah, yeah. It's slang. Yeah, just just to make sure that they yeah. know. Not, it's not slang even, for the pit. Not even not never. I, I haven't raced on the highway. You know what I'm saying? Like all track. Of course not. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> take it to the track. Shoot, I want to. Huh. I'm curious on the tech stack that it takes to actually code for those cars. Bro, I want to know like, so bad. Mm, I want to yeah. know so bad. That's another big thing. In order for you to get a job, you have to know. You don't have to know an entire stack, which I mean, I is see. like um, just some coding language. Right. So you could get a tech job. You don't have to know an entire stack, but you have to do know your stuff in like. A programming language so that would be either JavaScript or Python there's like C C++ right. there's Java um, TypeScript there's a bunch of different things that is Ruby one 
Yeah. 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 So okay. you have to know a language that a company needs or uses. Write it down um, in the description. Hmm? I want to know the card, the car code. Car code? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. If y'all know, let us know because I don't know what the card, no, what they coded. That shit either. is different. Way over my head, yeah. bro. Yeah. Bro, I, I got, when I got sent my tune to put on my card, I went to try to like open it to see what it is. It was all characters. I was so Ooh. mad. I was so mad. Bro. It wasn't I zero so ones, though. No, it was right, characters. So it's not binary. Nah, but I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is either. Wow. I've never seen it. I gotta, yeah. If I see it, I may under, know what yeah. the language is. I won't be able to read it, but yeah. I know what the language is. Um, a lot of people know the Mern tech stack, which is MongoDB, Express, React, and um, for Mern, the N? Yeah, you. Um, I'm, forget, I'm drawing a blank on what the N is. Mongo, MongoDB, or Express, JS, React, and something. With an N? With an N, yeah, Mern. Yeah, I don't know. I'm drawing Johnny, a blank. Man. Um, <laughs> hmm. What is the end? Oh, Node. Node. That's what it is. Node.js, Node. which is your back-end technology. Um, so that allows you to actually create an entire um, software, um, front-end and back-end, mm. to actually be able to push out, be pushed out for people to actually use. Um, that is something that is really helpful because a lot of companies actually use it. So like any, soft, any, yeah, any software you see online, like when you open up a web browser, is ran with JavaScript, mm. right, to some capacity because... JavaScript is the language, the only programming language that the browser could really read. Everything has to be um, transpiled, trans mm -hmm. yeah, transpiled into that language. Very yeah, true. If you're using something else, so if you want a job quick, most companies use JavaScript as a programming language. If y'all want, like, yo, I'm trying to break into tech. What do I need to learn? That's one of them. Um, HTML, and CSS. Oh, but I'm assuming. Well, I'm assuming there's no way there's HTML, and CSS in car code. It has I to don't be, know. No, I don't think so. It has to be a nah. programming language. Yeah, it gotta be. It. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think so because um, except for the, like the Teslas that have the iPads. That's correct. Different. That's yeah. the only time that they probably have like HTML, CSS coding in there. I feel like every car uses the the like a uh, OS, like a uh, operating, operating system. system. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. but I don't know what. It, I, like I, I think Tesla use Android, but I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But I, I think, but yeah. uh, the newer cars now, the Hondas and everything, they they use Blue Google. Blue saying Google. nah. They huh? use what? Blue saying nah. Nah, what do they use? Talking to the mic. The mic's right there. IOS. Man. IOS. Nah, they don't nah, use nah, iOS. Nah, nah, that's Apple. I, yeah, iOS I, is I, Apple. I, I'm saying, I'm saying like an oper operating system. But I, I do know that the new Hondas and everything, they have Google as their like assistant, so you could talk to like Google, ask them to do like mm -hmm. change your your like fan speed and everything. Yeah, that's more for software though. So, no, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm okay. saying. Most, most like the cars, not in the like the brain of the like motor in it, like the car, mm -hmm. but like the the operating system or the infotainment system is a uh, off OS, like AOS. I don't know whether it's Google, but the newer car is Google, as mm -hmm. of like the the fan speed, whatever. Mm -hmm. But it, there's the fan speed is like the thing I talk to to the car to tell the car I, he's pressing the pedal. This is what he got to do to the engine. I don't know what program they're using to for like to tell the car to do all that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. Interesting. So if you guys know, yep. comment below. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Vic said we a nerd. Hey, man. yo. Hey, I'll be a nerd, bro. Twenty twenty four and beyond is the year of nerds, bro. Hell yeah. Because everything's going tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's going tech, man. Um, but not to add to that, you guys should learn. So HTML, of course, just so you know how to. Put content on a computer screen. CSS. Ah, hmm? uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Swift. Okay. Uh, so, um, Victor was telling us to go on Swift. It's free to learn coding. Um, I add, well, I ask you guys, um, what do y'all feel about self-paced learning? I think uh, well, hold, I'm sorry. <laughs> Swift. How do you spell it so they know? Oh, S W I F T. Okay. Dot com. Okay. A hundred days Swift dot com. Check that out. Um, put it into Google because I may have spelt that incorrectly. All right. It's also going to be in the link. Um, they didn't pay us to say this also. But if they yeah. want to pay us, if you guys are they listening. Could, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, hey, throw, us, throw us a couple of, couple of dollars, man. It always helps. Hey, and we'll talk about it every week. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Swift. But yeah, what do you guys feel about like self-paced learning that it's like, Yo, there's no instructor, instructor, uh, instructor or teacher. I think it's very beneficial. Um, just because, like, naturally, me as a person, I think that um, you have to constantly be learning mm -hmm. and constantly be teaching yourself new things. And so, I am a fan of it, but at the same time, um, I also think that it has to be something that you're extremely interested in. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, just because, like, it's so easy to just. Uh, like, all right, like, I'm not going to do it today. And then days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months. And then you're just like, oh, dang, like, you know, I'm still way At far level behind. One, yeah. yeah, level one and stuff like that. Um, And I felt that way, honestly speaking. So, like, starting college, um, I was going to be a, a CS major. And then I was just like, I started it. And it was um online classes. But you didn't really have the opportunity of, like, talking to the professor. Like, you could schedule meeting hours with them. And I was just like, I should not have done this at all. Like, yeah. This was a terrible idea. Mm -hmm. And like, I was trying to do it based off of like the lectures and just like going through it myself. Like you write one little thing in your line of code and it's like, it just doesn't work. Yeah. So I'm just like, man, shoot. Yeah, I don't know about this, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you get error codes. You're just like, I don't even know oh, how to read man, this error bro. that you're telling me. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. even know where I went wrong, yeah. let alone, you know what I mean? So I'm just like, I feel uh, that you know, self-paced learning is a good resource for sure. But I feel that like having some type of structure, like at least they're, they might be telling you, okay, like after you do this, go do that. Or after you do that, go do this and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. it sort of gives you like, um, not really like a syllabus, but sort of like an outline in terms of like where, what, what to do next. Mm -hmm. But I mean, for example, like I just uh, enrolled myself into two classes in, um, on Harvard Business School. Yo, shout out to Harvard, bro. Yeah. They be giving those free the free right. classes, bro. Yeah, no, bro. free, free oh, classes. Yeah. Yeah. No, Look it up, bro. Yes. Yeah, bro, that's crazy. Yeah. shout out to them, man. Yeah, shout out to Harvard for real. Yeah. MIT does them too. Yeah, shout um, out MIT's, to MIT. MIT's are a little bit more outdated, but nevertheless, like they still offer free courses and right. stuff like that. Yeah. And a lot of them are in a lot of different domains, so you can learn everything from like ancient history um, to music to business and strategy. Um, Harvard has right now, their online business school has, um, like free Python courses and free like AI courses, mm -hmm. um, that are tailored around like Python and AI and all that stuff like that. Um, and yeah, there's, there's a lot of free resources out there. So yeah. it's not always that you need to go to a college or you need to, you know, pay money for a course or anything like that. There's, there is free resources out there. You just need to find them. Yeah. Yeah. I would add, um, before we get to your response on it, is by no means are you an expert by doing one of those classes. No, nah. Understand that you just learned the basics of it. I feel like people will learn anything online. They'll learn a little bit online, scratching the surface, and be like, yo, I'm ready to get a job. I'm ready to right. tell everybody that, yo, come to me about this information. It's like, yo, bro, you just know the, yeah, you, know. you don't even know the half of it, bro. <laughs> No you really just learned how to crawl. You didn't even learn how to walk yet. So no, seriously. let's pump the brakes. Hey, yo. Like it's a real good starting point. Right. So you understand like, all right, I do want to enroll into a real school or a real college to actually fully learn this thing out. Right. Yeah. Um, also, don't go into crazy debt about it because they could be wrong. You know, they could be teaching you out of date stuff. That's the one thing I, I personally don't like about self learning you just don't know 
if you're learning stuff that are up to date right. or mm. even useful. Mm. Right. Yeah, because I've done that before and it was just like learning like for coding, I was learning some stuff and it was like, yeah, nobody uses this in the industry no more. That mm-hmm. stuff is deprecated, bro. And you're just like, yeah. wait, what? Yeah. It's like, bro, I've been learning it for the last three, four days. And like, yeah, you're never going to see that code, yeah, bro. That's, that, that's so outdated. You're just like, oh, well, I, there goes three days of my learning that I, I just learned pointless stuff that nobody right. uses. Right. I think like the there's a caveat to that, though, because with technology and the tech industry in general, it's constantly evolving. So mm-hmm. like what you learned a week ago might might not even be relevant till yeah. to today's day. Like, you know what I mean? But um there is other areas of study where that's still that same concept still still applies. Like it's very outdated information, but you might be able to like use some of that information and apply it to other areas, mm-hmm. if that makes any sense. Yeah. 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 yeah, what you feel about self paced learning? I would say like you just gotta be motivated enough. Like yeah. you know, what I'm you could start. Anybody could start anything, bro. It's, it's it. It all depends on whether you you finish or whether you keep going. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But like, if, if it depends on the person you are too. Yeah. But I I'll definitely say, me personally, it would be way way better for me because you know because of time saving. As as he said, you know, what I'm saying no, nobody want to actually sit down in school to learn stuff, especially mm-hmm. with it being free too. You can just sit sit down home and learn it. Yeah. I'll say it's like it's it's way not way better. Like some other people can learn. You know what I'm saying? You got to go in school and and uh, talk to the teacher. Like if, if that's not you or if you're a person that could just sit home and, and learn mm-hmm. and push yourself, in my opinion, it's way better than going to school. Yeah. And you're not going to be in debt too if it's free. Yeah, that definitely if it's free. Yeah. But if you're paying, bro, you, you got to put your time into it, bro. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't like in-person learning no more. Me? Yeah. I nah. mean, personally, it, it, with my ADHD, it's, it's way better for me to be in school. Mm-hmm. But I try to like tell myself like I don't need I don't need the help. I I definitely do, but yeah. <laughs> I definitely but but I just feel like it's it's, it's better for me because I could do more stuff. Yeah. Like with ADHD, it, you got to be doing multiple stuff to like so you can be focused on on that one goal that you that you have. Mm-hmm. Like me, I can't study without music or noise around me because I'm gonna start daydreaming and start thinking about some dumb shit, some bullshit story. You know, wouldn't that distract you more? The music? Yeah. No, like I'm a musician, so I, I just listen I, I, while I'm listening to music. I just like like read off the thing. I used oh. to study before the test and just, just ace the test, that's get a hundred. Yeah, yeah. That's quite wild, yeah, my memory yeah. is stupid, but yeah, I, I every 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 class like I mm-hmm. I spend an hour or less just looking over the sheet, just rereading it, rereading it, and I get to the test. I just remember everything. <laughs> But well, I did every time. Hey, re- class, remember I this guy said, memory. Yeah, I, I think I do. I, I, I probably do. But he also said, give him a, give him a math book. He could relearn everything. I I'll do it. That's L- cap, bro. That's cap. Bro, listen, That's cap, bro. listen. <laughs> I, I took, I took calculus <laughs> we in college. We were talking about E equals M C squared. He was yeah. like, yo, if you give me a math book, bro. Listen, if I, if I, if I, I learn about the foundation, cap, bro. <laughs> if I learn about the foundation, bro, I'll do it. Yo. I, bro, I believe I can do anything, bro. Like personally, bro, I like which that. is great. Yeah, like that's that. great confidence. I, yeah, I, yeah. But personally, bro, like I, I could give an example. When I first started playing music, I'm like, yo, bro, ain't no way I'll ever be able to play like this dude. There was the, some dude at my church, stupid nice. I mean, he's too nice. He was stupid nice. I'm like, ain't no way I'm gonna be better than this dude. One time, like, ain't no way I'm gonna just keep taking that disrespect. But I sat down. <laughs> literally every day, bro, I sat down. It was a trash key, but I'm like, yo, I'm, I sat down and learned all oh, twelve keys. And ever since then, bro, I'm like, bro, I, I just keep pushing myself. Yeah, you're going to have headaches. You know what I'm saying? You just got to keep pushing. And you you definitely will, but there's like learning curves. So like- No, no, there is. There is. Yeah. Those Einstein people, those people that are going to those colleges, I don't know the name of those colleges, yeah. um, but they've been studying it the way football players, the way LeBron that's was that's playing that's ball that's since that's six, that's bro. That's 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 they've been just reading that's math that's equations, that's bro. That's so it's like, you already behind the eight ball. Can we all learn what they learned? Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's I believe saying. we can. Right. But it's going to take you as much years as it took yeah, them when they yeah. learned at six. It's just like, yeah. all right, well, do I want to dedicate the next 20 years to learn what they yeah, learned? I mean, like, right. And they're going to already be even further ahead. It's right. like, nah, you got it, bro. Yeah. I mean, you got to understand you got it. some people are smarter than some, some other people. You know what I'm saying? They, they, mm-hmm. it, could took, it, it might have taken them like longer to, to get to one part or to put for moving to the next part. And it might take you shorter because... You yeah, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? You think you think more than than or think you smarter than them, you know what yeah. I'm saying? 
nobody smarter than nobody, but you know, I was I was just saying in general, you just see stuff quicker than other people. Mm-hmm. But in general, nobody's really dumb. Right. Yeah, it's still gonna take time though. No, no, no I, I don't take I, you. I, I, I know it is, but the like the amount of time is it's pointless at that point. The, it's like this is pointless <laughs> to me even. The goal, it, none is pointless in life though, in my, in my opinion. Yes, I understand. Is, <laughs> so I'll say for this example, there's computers. Right. That they're like, yo, these computers can calculate equations that would take us right. thousands of I see years. That's you saying. Yeah. So it's at a certain point, you're just like, all right, bro, there's no point in me really. No, but you can prove them wrong in learning it in, in one year instead of 1,000 years. <laughs> nah, you literally bro. can do it. You're going to be crazy, obviously, by the time you're done, but you know, you still prove them wrong. Like that dude, that, that the, the equation that nobody can answer. Yeah. yeah the dude answered the, the question. Yeah. Everybody was, everybody was absolutely I'm, crazy. They found him at his saying. parents' house. That's what I'm saying. With cockroaches everywhere. Yeah. yeah I mean, <laughs> just incoherent sentences. Yeah. Yet somehow he solved a math equation yeah, that. And that's the goal. That's what I'm people saying. for years could yeah. not solve. Yeah. So. But personally, you know, <laughs> like to be realistic, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put myself in that situation to just learn one thing that nobody else could do. Yeah. Like what's yeah, the point? What's, yeah. yeah. What's the point? Seriously, yeah, unless yeah. it's. Unless, honestly, it's solving like some world problem, like, like, for example, um, just hypothetically speaking, because I don't think it'll ever be solved. But like, if it was solving like world hunger, like mm-hmm. world poverty, or something like that, then okay, like maybe I might dedicate my life to this yeah. one problem. You know, definitely like, could be solved. Yeah, mm-hmm. if it could be solved, <laughs> like, yeah, I think it could be solved. I think we could solve it right now in this podcast. All right, so this is what we need to do. <laughs> <right>? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to solve world hunger, we got to tell all the billionaires. Right. It's not what happened. Yeah. Just go buy. <laughs> nah. Listen, the U.S. The U.S. could help a lot of con- uh, countries or continent with, with providing food. Of course they food, could. You but know what I'm saying? You know what they did instead? I don't think. I don't think it's possible, bro. You know I, what they I'm did honest. instead, bro? They 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 test medicines on them. If they, die, people, yeah. if they die, bro, the medicine don't work. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't, don't come get me, the government, please. <laughs> but oh, yeah, they're going to find bro. you, bro. They're going to just hit it, you with a scandal. It, it definitely, it definitely yeah, is. Yeah, they're going to be like, yo, everybody who's on this podcast, if you agree with Matias, you're also part of the scandal. <laughs> I don't think we can solve world hunger, bro. I, mean, I don't think I just, so either. Yeah, I don't think there's enough. Um, I don't think we can solve world poverty either. It will no, never no, happen. Yeah, I don't. No, 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 nah. never, definitely not. Nah, bro, listen. No. Poverty? Never. No, because Never. because what we were talking about the other day, um, when we were at your office, and I was basically saying to you that like in the United States especially and like all developed countries, they have a socioeconomic structure mm-hmm. where like sometimes they I mean most of the times actually, I won't even say sometimes, most of the times they want to keep people where they are because like it just keeps things stable, right? Keeps things, you know, like and then the other part of it is that, okay, well, if everyone becomes wealthy, then what What's is the wealth anymore? Like, yeah, what, yeah. what is the point in being wealthy then? Like, we have yeah. to find something new. And I think that's why, like, um, you still see billionaires compete with each other and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like, you have all the money that you would ever need. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? But still, they're just like, oh, like, well, he just did this. Well, I'm going to go do this. Mm-hmm. And, like, they they compete with each other because it's it just better. like superiority yep. yeah. at the end of the day like people want to be superior and they want to control things and stuff like that so mm-hmm. i don't ever see like world hunger or world poverty, poverty. ending yeah I'll, it's never focus yeah, i'll say was... i'll say world world uh poverty will never they'll never end because no i want we want class you know what yeah, i'm saying yeah. always want class but I, i'll say though you you could you can help with world uh world hunger though in my opinion how so i'll say bro just just bring him food bro is that serious is that bring food? Food. you know what i'm saying <laughs> Nah, obviously not. But but you could you could try. You could you could start somewhere. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And uh, provide them with a uh, like like resources that that can help them survive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't. I think the poverty one. You just have to raise the bar to what poverty is. Because what I'm thinking is, we shouldn't have homeless people sleeping out on the street. Right. So just increase the bar of like, yo, your our poverty is. Hey, you live in a one bedroom house. <laughs> you then live paycheck more, to paycheck. But hey, you get be, to eat all the time. But you live in poverty uh, technically because then, you have to work all the time, huh? There'll be more homeless people then because people are gonna start taking risks. And then now they lost everything. Yeah, that is and true. Then, like, that you, is true. You just get to fall back yeah. in like a nah, that's true. Oh, I'm I'm in poverty in a yeah. one bedroom? Yep. Okay, sure. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's but that's what I'm saying. At least the bar is risen. So I, it's I just like, yo, our poverty is Hey, you're you eat every day, but you have to work right. ten hours a day. And it's like, hey, is that better than 
sleeping outside in I these see cold Boston streets. I see you saying no, but I think I think the homeless people would rather work every day. Than I don't be, think so. You don't think so? No. It's because it's, I think it'd be that cold out no, here, no, in Boston. No, I I understand I'm that, too. but I also like think heavily in the aspect that like um, sometimes like homeless people and stuff they are not willing to. Um, do all that hard labor like yep. like literally you can give i've seen it where um someone will give them like opportunities or anything like that whether it's like from from videos that i've watched or like just personal like firsthand experience mm -hmm. and they'll give them like an opportunity and just be like oh hey you know like we can go get you this job and stuff like that They're like a job nah man like i'm collecting benefits or whatever mm. and all this stuff like that you know right. like so it's easier sometimes for them to just stay in the place that they are and just yeah you know, receive help and, and um, yeah. benefits yeah. from the government and stuff like that. Like, it's yeah. just easier for them because yeah. they can't fathom a life of having to work hard for things and stuff like that right. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm not saying this is true for all homeless people. Right. Like, right. there are genuine homeless people that don't want to be homeless anymore and, like, they want to pick themselves up out of their situation the and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. But right. it's very few and far between, I think. Yeah. Right. So there'll, just, there'll always be some lazy people, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I used to work uh, at Not Bay. every homeless person is, of course, poor because they're yeah, lazy. No, of, of course, of course. Yeah. Right, right. But it, That's not what you're saying. Hard time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So saying, There's yeah. also mental health yeah. issues. Right, yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah. All that stuff. They did drugs yeah. and now yeah. they're just addicted to drugs now. Yeah. There's a right. lot of stuff coming yeah. to play. There's a lot oh, of examples of people that, that actually tried it for one day to make about like 700 to like 800 or one stack or two stacks in one day just asking people for money instead of like actually, yeah, yeah, a lot. Say what? Yeah, a lot. There's a lot of YouTube Man, I want to sign me up, man. $1,000 I feel like Cali because Cali is kind of, obviously Cali. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 I would have to believe that because yeah. they're just a stack to two stacks a day. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of, the, of people. Some of the jobs that people be having in Cali, in Cali be like three hundred k a yeah. year. You're just like, damn, where do you work? Yeah. The standard of living is just naturally higher in yeah. Cali. Yeah, that too, that too. So they have the pocket cat, not that's the pocket cat, but they have the means to be like, I could give him, give him a hundred. I could give him a twenty. I have. Yeah, it was like, what the heck? Yeah, because uh, you have that as disposable income. Wow, yeah, this, yeah, this is uh, video. Throw away twenty, goddamn. Where this dude act like he his leg is broken or whatever he did, like he uh somebody else was filming him. I don't know if it was fake or whatever, but somebody else was like was a filming him, mm -hmm. and uh and uh, he would he would like make the whole day he would film him and then he make how many how many money he makes and then he goes back to the parking lot behind behind wherever he was asking for money and men got a bins. A oh, get in the bins. The dude stop him like, bro. Like, wait, why are you doing this? Like, wh why are you like? He was like, bro, this is the way I'm living. This is the way I make money and provide for my family. So that's what I'm gonna keep doing. That's yeah. wild. And I respect it. I'm like, I understand, but you know, what if he's, what if the car is all he got? So like, he used to have money, and now he's bankrupt. No everything you could lost literally, it. And he bring just your car. You could literally sell that Benz. That's what I'm saying. And get a decent amount of money for it. Right. So you don't need a Benz. Yeah. I think nah, but if you're just like, this is the place the I'm going to sleep. Off. I'm going to sleep in my car. You got to understand, the car's right? not paid off. No? It's a brand new car. You know what I'm saying? So he, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, it's it, like a, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. Even if it was two years old, there ain't no way you're mm -hmm. going to be, be done paying a bent. Unless you put like 50K down, then that's you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I it's like, that's that. why I'm broke, bro. <laughs> I bought this car. Yeah, I'm saying, nah. <laughs> Would you say that's a good business model? Uh, uh, what? Um, the subscription taking like a percent. Of oh hell yeah! The yes. person people's money. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, like long term wise, because like, do you think the growth is stagnant? Because it's like, yo, you're only getting money based off of like the users, and it stays. There's no reason for you to char upsell or charge anywhere else because it's only a subscription. Right. If I that mean, makes sense. Because, like, if I only get YouTube to, like, oh, I created an, um, Netflix and right. I only have these two users, right. I'm only getting $10 a month from two people. That's $20. My growth is stagnant. How do they squeeze out more money from people? They do a subscription inside of subscriptions. Hmm? They do, like, they, let's say they do, a, like, Apple. Mm -hmm. You're already paying. Let's say you buy the phone with the card to help grow your credit. You you buy the phone with the with the card. So every every month, Apple build a card, quote unquote, as if you're paying like forty dollars a month. So like it, it builds the card the week the the Friday before you're supposed to pay it, as if like if you bought something. So like and then you pay it back and then go to credit. But they do that. Let's say you're doing that and then you buy you buy an extra storage like ninety nine cents or two dollars a month. They uh they charge you two dollars every month. That's more money than you paying like what 
a hundred dollars for like the whole more storage. Yeah. In my opinion. So if people say, see that, yo, bro, it's only ninety nine cents to get more storage, bro. I'm I'm gonna do it monthly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Instead of actually paying a hundred dollars a just straight up. You okay, know what I'm so saying? there's have the subscription model, yeah. but also have another way for to get more reimbursement more, yeah. payments in just, a different yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Just just have a little little shit where you pay like ninety nine cents. Yeah. The, the the smaller the people see the number. They, the more people you're going to get on there. Cause, mm. you know, I'm thinking, that. thinking to like Netflix. Like Netflix is just like. I don't know why Netflix is doing that. It's either. only you. They only get paid based off of. I mean, they're Bro. doing ads now. Right. I haven't seen an ad. Netflix messed yeah, up a but, good thing, man. I remember seeing a, a, a tweet where they were just like, yeah, we will never ever like, you know, uh, make password sharing illegal or yeah, whatever. And, yeah, yeah. Man, it was like back sharing on their caring words, or something bro. like that. Yeah. Yep. Like what? Bro. But ultimately, it's just like um, that ties back into my point of like with the NFL thing and stuff like mm-hmm. big that, corporations that. just wanting more money. It's mm-hmm. just greed, corporate greed at the end of the day. Yeah. Like they were already at that time, they were, they were like valued over probably like 20 billion right. plus. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where it's just like, do you need extra money? But they just want to maximize profits and stuff like that at, the, I, at that yeah. point. I mean, because everybody wants more money. Yeah, I see what they're doing though. Yeah. I see what, because you know, I don't have a Netflix account, bro. I'm pretty sure you don't have one. I'm using somebody else's. I, I understand. <laughs> not, not, not Netflix. <laughs> they have. They no, have. no, we all have accounts. He's just saying hypothetically. Uh, yeah, Netflix, yeah, 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 yeah. If you want to sponsor us, uh, of course. Obviously, you want to Hypothetically. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't, I'm obviously saying like a story. Hypothetically, you know yeah. Yeah. Hypothetically, if you didn't have an account, yeah, if you didn't have an account, like the way the way Netflix is doing it now, like if, if you happen to not have an account, like if you do not have an account, you know what I'm saying? They they uh they have like your IP address, mm-hmm. so uh, yeah. you created that account in this house, you can't use it in, in that yep. house, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Or, or or I'm gonna send you a code so you can be able to use it in this house, but when you get back to your you house, you can't use it at you your can't, house. You gotta yeah. get I experienced that, <laughs> that issue. Yeah. We're talking about it. Early yeah, day, literally. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, not even Hulu. I experienced it with uh, Netflix because my parents they they pay for it, and um, both of my sisters, myself, and my parents, we all have profiles on there. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember being in, I think I was visiting my girlfriend in Rhode Island, and um, I went on, and they were just like, "Oh, like we noticed that this is not your home." Yep. Like. Do you want to add on a, an added user for like an additional six ninety nine yep. a month or something yep. like that? Mm-hmm. So I think um, I said no, and it let me use it for a little bit. And then my my little sister called me. She's like, "Get off the Netflix! It says <laughs> that you know we can't That's use it over here because crazy. you're on it and stuff like that." And it was just like a whole yeah. back and forth it thing. So I ended up just getting my own account. Damn. Yeah. So now I have two Netflix accounts because I'm back at home now. Damn. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah. well, what's the point now? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yo. <laughs> Makes no sense. Hey, man, if y'all want to get a job in tech, bro, you guys will make a lot of money, man. <laughs> because you, you the people that own... have to code that. Yep. Seriously. And Netflix, yo, Netflix pays um, this some position there. I forgot what it was called. But they give that person a million dollars a year. That's not even stock. Huh? That's, That's their actual crazy. salary. was like a million dollars a year that they were in tech. Because of course Netflix is a as a software as a service company, so sure. any position there is essentially just a tech yeah. or a tech adjacent. Yeah. yeah. So it was like a million dollars. I was like, yeah, damn, wow. what? <laughs> like I will take that. That's bro. highly decent. Yeah, and that's what's making everybody. Because like going back to you were saying, um, everybody wants money. Yeah. Right. Or the corporate greed. It's because they we as a regular worker is like, yo, well I want more money too. Yeah, and then now we're demanding for more money. They're like, "All right, well, we got to squeeze it from somebody." So <laughs> yeah, I guess I got to squeeze come it from, from our me. pockets. Yeah. We're but, making thirty million a year as a CEO, yeah. but it's not gonna come from my pocket, man. Not come That's from my crazy. pockets, my comp, my um stock compensation, none yeah, of that. Nah. It's coming from these dudes. Yeah, increase the price of Netflix. <laughs> It's yeah, like, the damn, they, bro. They did it in a very strategic way, though. I will say that because, like, yeah. they created different tiers. They created like the basic tier with your ads, and mm-hmm. then I think there's like a, a um, nine ninety nine one from there, and then there's like fifteen ninety nine for like premium subscription or something like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know the exact prices, but like they just they lost users. They had a decline in users, but. I feel like they gained back a lot of them. They did. Like, they, you know I mean? Didn't they have like 14, 15 million users over the last Something quarter? Something like quarter that. Quarter? Yeah. 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 So their stock like yeah. popped. Something, yeah. man. Like they had to get back their users somehow. Yeah. Because yeah. people were just leaving Netflix after they started announcing like price hike. Mm-hmm. So. 
But humans also got to understand every, everything is going up in prices. Though, yeah. Though. But I do understand, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, get some Bitcoin or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't know. I, yeah, I, mean, I don't know, man, because these prices are crazy, yeah, bro. Crazy. These, yo, it's like insane out here yeah. for just basic necessities. Bro, for example, today I just paid $23 for a 10-piece at Wingstop. Hey, That's yo. Insane. Just the wings, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, yo. And two sauces, man. Like, I was like. Am I doing this right now? Yo. Like, yes, so. No, like, you. It's like, I, yo, I'm about to know what I'm about to do. I'm about to grab bowl, 23, right? 24, 23.99 specifically, actually. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm about to go eat. Um, pretty absurd. Go eat an ice, an ice cereal, bro. You gonna just get a bowl, just put some water, get nah, some bro. ice, and just chew on that. Like, I'm about to go back to eating some cornflakes, bro. Or something. Yo, yo. Corn milk first with some, with some sugar. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fact. Like, it's just way too expensive out here, bro. You feel me? It's because so of tech. Funny. So, it's like it's helpful, but it's making it's a, it's inflating the price. No, seriously, no, no bad. Yeah, because yeah. they're just they only care about like what you were saying. Mm-hmm. They don't really care about profit. No. They just care about growth. And yeah, they're just like just growth well, driven. Yo, just charge everybody this. And it's like, yeah, but you're you're saying the company's worth this, but like you guys haven't made a profit. That's like, right. I don't yep. understand. Yep. Uber, how are you example, worth this much billions? Uber, for example, is like prime example. Yeah, where like they are not. I think there was a report that said they're not even profitable yet. And I was like, what? Yet is crazy. Like, yet. Yeah. And they're like a multi billion, like they're could, over a decacord. Yeah, crazy. strange. Like, for all those that don't know a decacord, it's a, a company valued at more than $10 billion. So it's like, huh? Mm-hmm. Like, you're not profitable yet. Where, where is all this money that going to? Crazy. But ultimately, like, it's going to expanding their infrastructure and, right. you know, like hiring and all that stuff like that. I mm-hmm. get that. But for them not to be profitable is just mind boggling. Yeah. I mean, I understand. That's, that's huge, though. Yeah, because. Like, Go ahead. They they do buy they do buy cars uh from a like car companies. Oh, I did mm-hmm. hear that. Yeah. Oh, they're trying to buy Teslas yeah. and stuff. No, not even Teslas. Teslas, just like their own fleet. Yeah, of vehicles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If you want, if you wanna like, if you wanna do, you don't have a job. You wanna do Uber. And you don't have a car. You are obviously gonna be, be making less money. But they, you could you could uh buy a car with them. You obviously paying for the car, and then you're. You know what I'm saying? That's highway yeah. robbery, yeah. bro. But you're like, we're going to tax you twice. Yeah, but you're yeah. making our though. car and yeah. we're going to pay you shitty. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're, if you're old, you, you know, you got nothing car. to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, if you have nothing to do, bro. I, I feel like it's a great job for you, bro. Like, I'm, I've gotten in a, in a in a car with an old dude. Like they obviously talk a lot, but you know, I understand that you got nothing, you know, you got nothing going on. You yeah. know I mean? He told me, you like, bro, I bought it with Uber. Obviously, they're taking a big cut, but you know, like the money I'm making, I just work yeah. harder. You know what I'm saying? It, it's their car. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. no matter how many miles you put on the car, it's still gonna be their car. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You'll never be able to stop finish paying for the car. Yeah, yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Huh? Wow. Yeah, they probably have the contract too. They're just like, wow. you, you will never technically own this car. Nah, nah, nah obviously not. Even obviously if you, not. Even if you no. fully pay it off and you leave, yeah, yeah. That, like, that, this is our that car. That vehicle belongs to Uber's corporate Uber, yeah. fleet. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, but it's kind of gross, though. I ain't gonna lie to you, because like every yeah. time, it's cutthroat, bro. Yeah, every time you hear about tech, it's, they're like, all right, we build this thing, we outprice everybody. And now we're creating AI to get rid of the people that created it. Facts. <laughs> so like, even Facts. with um Uber, it's like eventually they're just gonna have self-driving cars where yeah. everybody's just like, yeah. All right, well I guess I'm out of a job now. Even though you guys created this for everybody to be able to have a job. Yeah. No, I think, honestly, I think. Go ahead. No, he's moving. He's moving. I, I was gonna say I think that like ultimately, Uber, a company like Uber wouldn't just scrap their whole business and right. they're too big. Mm-hmm. So I I see like an acquisition of like a self-driving technology. Yo, about to say that with too. Uber, yeah. Like they'll they'll acquire a company that is solely focused on autonomous driving, and then they'll just implement that software and technology into their own fleet. And maybe that's why they're ultimately buying their own corporate fleet too, yeah. so that they can be able to do something like that down the road. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're eventually the people who are Uber drivers. Yeah. They're going to be like, well, I don't have a, I can't yeah. even do an Uber driving no that more because yeah. all the cars are autonomous, right. and that's what Uber decides to go with. They're just right. like, yo. We'll just have a car drive to your location yeah. and pick you up. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like, all yeah. right, damn, bro. Like, and now Uber, they're gonna be like, yo, instead of you getting paid ten dollars yeah. per mile, just hypothetically, they'll be like, yo, you get paid two dollars per mile. Yeah. Take it or leave it. <laughs> it's like, yo, yeah. what? Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, like, they, I mean, we could get a a self driving car to pick this guy up, or yeah. you could do it. Up to you, yeah. man. I don't know if it's Lyft or Uber, but they do have like self driving cars. They they do shorter routes, and then mm-hmm. you know you pay less money or something because just... already yeah like they're already implemented. Yeah 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 they they yeah I yeah. I seen I seen on TikTok yeah, a lot of people doing it. 
it, it is. Oh, so they probably oh, already really? made an yeah. acquisition yeah. then. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're behind the curve yeah. a little bit, but yeah. 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 They do shorter, shorter routes, though. They do shorter, like, shorter uh, distance. That's mm-hmm. a shorter route. Yeah, oh, shorter see? They're no, about right, to edge it, out. It's Every a test, Uber though. driver out yeah. there is a test. They're going to figure yeah. it out, bro. They got they, The Uber driver's got about a year or two, bro. Yeah, eventually it's going to be like, yo, this little... Oh, you could go two blocks, bro. You could go from here to Texas. Yep. <laughs> I got you. Yep. Like, I mean, highway highway driving is is obviously the safest. Uh, right. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right, right. But if if, it, if they can get, get it to work on the highway without, guess I can already do it. But you know, sometimes it's buggy in the lanes because if it's not showing on the ground, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. But if they can get it done on the highway, bro, yeah. Uber is done. I think that would be mighty Uber, tragic, Uber though. Hmm? Like, I think that would be mighty tragic. Yeah. Like. Getting into an autonomous driving car and yeah. and then like getting into a car crash or yeah. something. Like oh no! What yeah. you probably get sued the hell out of hell Uber yeah. or yeah. whatever car company. It's like yo, nah. bro, I wasn't driving. They crashed, yeah. bro. You'd be and in I'm a litigation hurt. battle for like years. True, yeah. they're not gonna want to pay you. Yeah, they're gonna be true. like, no, 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 no. And they have money to pay for the yeah. top lawyers. Yeah. Yeah. They have like the best lawyers in the I, game. You know, like I mean, they, they'll they, settle then. They'll settle. They'll be like, yo, bro, you settle. don't even waste your time, bro. Yeah. They'll be like ten thousand dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying they're gonna lowball you like, hey. Yeah, like, they're like, yeah, yeah, no shut we, <laughs> we could do this until you die, bro. You're not gonna get a dime. Literally. So just take the ten. Just take yeah, the yeah. ten and, yeah. and be happy. Way more? with a settlement. Oh, oh I'm That's sure it is. Yeah, because I mean, more, there's man. there's a bunch of like uh, self driving um, car companies, and then like they're now breaking into um, eighteen wheelers and. All that yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, I remember that. That's yeah. that dangerous yeah, stuff. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Yeah. Stopping, you got to be able to stop crazy. Because, you know, it's really, it's, I drove I drove a, a, a box truck, bro, not even a, a, a 18 with a box truck. Yeah. It takes so much more braking yeah, power yeah. to slow it down, bro. It literally, that literally does. It literally does. And when people yeah. cut you off, you're just like, yo, bro, bro you know so what I'm Bro, they we both almost died just now. Yeah, no, seriously. I, I knew um one of my, my neighbor's son uh, who lives across the street or used to live across the street. um. But his son was an AT an eighteen wheeler driver, and he was saying that it takes up to like either a quarter mile to a mile to actually stop them yeah, fully, fully. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like fully stop. Yeah. If you're going at like seventy plus miles per hour, like it takes about a mile to stop that Golly. vehicle, and especially like if you're carrying a heavy load, yep, that, like yeah. a few tons, a like. Yep. And that Yo. barrels into you, you dead, yeah. bro. Oh, instant death. What? How did Tracy Crazy. Morgan survive, bro? Instant death. That's insane. Oh, is that what happened to him? Yeah, he got hit by an eighteen wheeler. Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. even know that. Yeah. I just thought that he just got into like a regular car crash. Nah, I think he was on the side of the wow. road. Car, the eighteen wheeler hit him. Yeah, Sheesh. hit his car. Yeah, he was in it. I it's mean, like, he was, he was yeah. What? Probably have a headache or neck pain or whatever. <laughs> a headache? No. You know, it's pretty smooth. That man was nah, in the hospital for a minute. I'm playing that. Luckily, he survived. I think. He That's won that though. settlement because they were just like, I think oh, the I'm driver sure. fell asleep or something. It was like, well, why yeah. did the driver fall asleep? You got to give the drivers time to sleep and rest so they're not, yo, I got to make my route. I got to, dr-. it's like, yo, give them. Yeah, you got to take eight hours, I think. Wow. Yeah, it's like, you got to give them a break. So they were just like, yo, yeah. well, you got to sue the company because they clearly Violated. didn't let the, yeah. yeah if the, the driver rules. feels like, yo, I can't sleep because they're going to penalize yeah, yeah, yeah. me for it. Yep. Like, yeah, you got to be there on time. Yeah. Amazon. <laughs> yeah, Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're also a tech podcast again. So Amazon, yeah. he's just saying that theoretically, man. This is all jokes, bro. This we're just jokes. Joke. This is all banter, man. You know what I'm saying? Amazon is a great company. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no wrong with Amazon. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. We're, we're learning, bro. Because right. we usually trash these companies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're in the tech space, so yeah, yeah. It's definitely better to not trash these companies. Yeah, because we want to talk about more. Um, Local, not just local, but more smaller up and coming companies. That's right. what we really want to talk about. Right, right. right. But hey, man, they're all getting bought up by the same five companies all the time. So right. it's better to not talk bad about these guys. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. We might be next. Mm-hmm. Right? Thanks. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Amazon, Amazon buy my, buy my, uh, buy my company. Not my company, my, my works company. I'm trying to make more money. <laughs> yeah, your job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, I mean, yeah, don't say it. What do you mean? Like the name of the company? Oh, no, no, I was just saying. I was just saying in general. Okay. Yeah, they, they probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> it's, probably on, it's probably on their radar already. They probably yeah. know what yeah. I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> Unspoken truth. You know what I mean? <laughs> Please. Um, I love Amazon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Did y'all hear about Tesla was able to create AI code that coded their new AI? 
model. What? Yeah, damn. How do I phrase what? this? What? I understand what you're saying, though. Um, so they use machine learning, or they use their AI model that they have to create code that lets their cars do self-driving. Ooh, so it wasn't I a just... person like me or an engineer. I was like, oh, okay, we're going to code right, this. Right. These are the processes, blah, blah, blah. Smart. They just had the AI just like, yo, here's the data. Learn how to create this AI to, to drive this car. I'm yeah. pretty sure I just read about that. Yeah. Um, there was, there it's was real an recent. article. Yeah, there was an article on, I think, Yahoo um, that had popped up after I was reading like a business article or something like that. And I read, I scrolled through it briefly. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I just think that over time, Technology is just going to become more and more powerful, and what we're the the solutions that we're able to bring to the market with technology, and like especially technology like artificial intelligence, where it's still in its infancy stage, mm-hmm. and um, we don't know too much about it yet, or the full potential of it. There's going to be like a lot of potential for it for sure. Yeah. So yeah, I mean that's that's a testament to that. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Your thoughts? Me, I'll say personally, bro. As soon as it comes out, do not get it. <laughs> Somebody's gonna hack into it. That, that's what happened to Tesla when it first came out. Yeah, he was hacking into the Teslas every time. But mm-hmm. I don't know if you could hack into an AI like uh, code or whatever. Oh, definitely. I, I mean, ultimately you can. Anything yeah. that like has, you know, code, you know you can, I was hoping not hack it. You know, nah, you I, can I, hack I into it, not. bro. Yeah, but yeah, that's what happened. Cyber security is something that's huge. That yeah. everybody who's trying to break into tech, yeah, yeah. If you want to break into tech and longevity yeah. is that because a lot of other jobs will be just taken out because of AI. Right. Hey, if AI is already coding for another AI to drive a car, eventually it'll be able to code out code like other stuff. Yeah, for so sure. Yeah, just make you don't get You're going to need security. Huh? Absolutely. Yeah, just make you don't get it for like the first two years. In, me, in my personal. All the kinks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just wait, just like wait. the COVID vaccine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let them work out all the kinks yeah. first and then, uh, <laughs> you know, we can we can revisit this yeah. after. But, like, what? but that is smart though. I'm not going to yeah, say Yeah, you got to, you know, the chips and the vaccine. Yeah. yeah. You have to wait. <laughs> Yo, they go track you Why was that a like, thing, bro? bro? Why, Why was that, that a thing? They were a like, yo, there's... In there? No, man. Oh, that's so cat. No, there, there's not a chip in it. But what they were saying, there was controversy behind the COVID vaccine because people thought ultimately that it alters your DNA because there's DNA and then there's like something, I think it's like our DNA or right. something like that, which is like your something to do with your chromosomes or something like that. Yeah, our RNA. Yeah, that's I think that's it. RNA. Um, And... People were just like, oh, it like alters your DNA and That's stuff like crazy. that. It alters your genes. Like, don't get it. There's there's this and that, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yo, Most, take it if you want to take it. Don't take it if you want yeah, to yeah, take yeah, it. Yeah. I take, it was yeah. never really that serious. Yeah, no. it was, it was, I took the first two. The second one's going to get you sick for, for sure. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. The first one, I, I wasn't really sick. But you do know when you get a vaccine, obviously they gotta inject the fuck the, yeah, the, the virus, these, in the yeah, virus yeah, you know like a saying? live but, virus into mm-hmm. you. Yeah, just, just just know that, you, just understand that before you take it, because you are gonna feel sick and then you're not gonna be mad because yo I took the vaccine, but now all of a sudden I feel sick. Right. Yeah, I was never right. sick, like bro. What you think yeah, it was, bro? Yeah. But, I, you know, I think people ultimately felt mad because like the people who got the vaccine. Thought that they would be immune to getting COVID. <laughs> yeah. I'll never get COVID. I'll never, I'll never get, get COVID, COVID. Get COVID <laughs> ever again. And then they they were like pissed when they're just like. Man, what the hell? Like, yeah, I yeah. got COVID. Yeah. What was the point of this vaccine? Yeah, I gotta get man. another booster. Yeah. And we get, yeah, we get three boosters. Man. Yo, that's a fact. You could tell that everybody was like, yo, you, y'all didn't pay attention in school, bro. <laughs> There's no way. So you do know that's what happens when you get every yes, vaccine. Yo. Like, you're going to get sick, bro. You still get that. Yeah. Like, it they politicize your chances it. less susceptible. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? Like, uh, man. They politicized it way too much. That's, they did. That's when I was like, yeah, I'm not taking this. I'm Fauci good. Fauci and yeah, shit. I'm good. Like, yeah, not <laughs> even that. It was just like the yeah. politicians were just like, they got mad. It's like if somebody has like water. If you're thirsty, somebody has a cup of water. They're like, yo, here's this water. You're like, oh, word. Thank you. You put it down. You don't drink it. And I'm just like, yo, you're not going to drink that water? You're like, yo, why are you so pressed up on me? Yeah, what did you do to that cup, yeah, bro? Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, water. Felt like, yeah. Drink yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. What, that's what it felt like. It was just like, all right, bro, I was going to do it, but like, yeah. you seem too pressed about me taking it. It's now. now I don't want to take it's it. Cause, it's because people believe that, yo, I, oh, those people that died is definitely because of COVID. And if we want to stop that from keep happening, uh, from uh, happening, you got to have everybody take the vaccine so they mm-hmm. could like, so their body could be immune to it, quote unquote. Yeah. So they don't have to like, so they don't catch it, so they don't, they don't eventually die or whatever. And people weren't even, I mean, they were dying because of COVID, but that, that's, that's you not taking care of your body, in my, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion. Because I didn't feel, I, I didn't have any symptoms. I didn't even feel sick 
Mm -hmm. The the whole the whole two years during COVID, like I, I mean, I was I I didn't really go to the gym that 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 like that often, but I was drinking a lot of water, obviously. Yeah. And I was, you know, what I'm saying doing regular exercises. You feel me? Right. And that that was pretty good for me. Only reason why I took it is because because of, uh, of my job. Honestly, I'm, me too. Yeah, like my I'm job was requiring that. Like it's if you didn't crazy. Yo, oh, yeah. if you didn't have like a religious exemption or anything like yep. that, mm -hmm. yep, you got to go, man. Yep. Yeah. You yep. got to go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know they forced everybody that was like in school to take it. Yeah. And like doctors had doctors, medical. I mean, well, obviously, yeah, obviously, uh, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. 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 You signed up with that one for that one. Yeah. <laughs> you signed your own death wish with that yeah. one for sure. Yeah. But I actually ducked it. I was working at um, a hospital. Yeah, I was working what? at a hospital. Yeah. yeah. And you avoided it. Yeah. How? The hospital one's closing, but it was a terrible hospital. That's one thing. Oh, uh, so they but just didn't care. They They're like, yeah, we, we, we're closing <laughs> they anyway. That, we're, 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 we have all this malpractice that, anyway. That's so yeah. Crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. They're closing bro. now. <laughs> they weren't closing at the time, but it was like I wanna say like months in, they were just like, Oh, we've seen that you didn't take the vaccine, you gotta go take the vaccine. And I was just like Sure, and I just never showed up, and they were just like, "Oh, yo, you missed the vaccine thing." I was like, "Oh yeah," I was like, "All right, just, just sign up again whenever, whenever you get the chance." So I was just like, I was like yeah, "All right, yeah." yeah. And then I left. I was like, "Yeah, I'm out, bro." Yo, my my my. Until they stop politicizing this, I'll take it. But you 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 getting mad that I'm not taking something? <laughs> something's up. Yeah, yeah something's some, fishy. some a little yo, bit fishy in that a little, a fishy. little bit. You know what I mean? So, and now you look at it like they're not. Where where are they saying this anymore? Yeah, you know, exactly. what I mean? as a fact. That's crazy what? though. Yeah, yeah. They were forcing people, to, but people to take it, and people that didn't take it just didn't take it. Now they're still working. Yeah. Either you take still. it, or you, or you got to take yeah. a week I'm, off until you, you you take it, or you can't work it. And then didn't people I'm like you, bro? We kind of need you, bro. Yeah. Yo, can <laughs> Yo, you take it? You can't take it. I smooth, you, bro. You, <laughs> Just yeah, come work, you bro. You can't take it out. Spoo, just come back, <laughs> bro. bro. We need help, bro. We need it like, anyways, bro. man. Yeah. Bro, you tripping. Oh, man. Yeah. You tripping. That's nah, what it was. Like, I think about it because, like, um, I, I have, like, this little box where, like, I keep um, a lot of important documents and, like, um, my card holder at night and whatnot, whatnot. And I was looking in there the other day. I see my COVID card. I was like, huh. Something of the past, like, yeah. like, they, <laughs> bro. where is this even needed anymore? Yeah. Like, they don't ask for that anymore. Yeah. Like, but I, I will no, say no, that it's gonna be worth time. bread in the yeah. future. Fifty years from now, anybody yep. who has the car, they'll be yep. like, "Yo, you can sell it after yep. bread, bro." That's why they throw just it to my... have it as a yep. memorabilia. It'll be like a trading card, like yeah, <laughs> yo. yo, you got twenty in there, bro. Damn, bro, a hundred k, but right now, memorabilia, bro. Oh man, that's gonna be lit. Oh uh, my god, yo, bro. One restaurant though, they they did ask me for it, mm -hmm. and my girl was also with me. I think I think my girl, my friend. Uh, like I just sent him a picture of mine, and I told him just change the background or whatever. What? He just showed it. She didn't even read the name. She was like, Nah, okay, they don't cool. care. All you have to do care. is just because it wasn't an official thing. Like, yeah, there was no like barcode yeah. or anything. I feel like if that was the case, then people would have been screwed. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. if if they somehow integrated a software that like captured all of like your COVID information and stuff like that, then you're screwed. But yeah. Ultimately, it was just like a piece of cardboard mm -hmm. right. that said CDC on it, and that's all they that wanted. Was it. Yeah. yeah, like I remember, I used it twice, I think. Once when I was going to um, this place called the uh, I think it's called the Breakers Mansion in in um, Newport, Rhode Island. It's basically like um, one of the big big families back in the day. I think it was like the Vanderbilts or something like that, or, or the Rockefellers. One of yeah. the families, one of the big families, um, they own a mansion and it's like now open to the public. So you can like walk through it. Okay. And so like That's my lit. girl and I, we went through there and they were like requiring our COVID card there. And then we went to um, the MFA in Boston and they required it there. Mm -hmm. um, but that was it. Like literally, yeah. never ever use it again. That's yeah, you just kind of tucked it away. Kind of pointless. My yeah. girl didn't even care about hers. Like she, she left it with me when she when she moved. Um, and I like showed her a picture. She's like, yeah, just throw it away. I was yeah. like, what? Like, <laughs> like throw it away? Yeah, you know, it was all a um political thing. Yeah, <laughs> like they just politicized it. Yeah, yeah. The hell. The when I was working that not working. Um, when I was in school for um electrician. Yeah, bro. The professor had like a huge stack because every I, I don't know if it's just the field of electrician they all were just like bro I'm not taking it like fuck that right. so they right? just had like blank ones yeah so the teacher just had a bunch and he was just like I mean y'all could buy it off me if y'all want because every like everybody in the class was just like nah I'm not taking that shit and I was just like yeah I mean I'm with you I'm not echoing the same sentiment I'm not 
I don't feel either way about it. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but I was just like, okay, it's like if you don't want to take it, don't take it. But they were just like, nah, that's some bullshit that they yeah. have us all taking it. They were like, yeah, like I'll, you can just buy it off me and just put your name on it. Like it was just like mad people like, bought what, it what too. It was just do, like, right. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter at the end of the day because like they ask for like on the COVID card, it says okay, like what what vaccine did you get? Like Pfizer, Moderna, um, whatever. Yeah. Johnson, Johnson, Johnson and Johnson, the one yeah. that was giving people blood clots and something. Yeah, crazy problems. But um, they also ask for like lot numbers and dates and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and so. I guess people were just filling in false information. Like, I guess. Eh, was A, B, C, was... one, two, three is the yeah, line number yeah. or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. people I mean, didn't care. They, they got away with it anyway. So, you know they what I'm did. saying? They, they, I, I, don't, I couldn't even think of, of one way that you wouldn't be able to get away with it unless your name's not on the card and then they actually read your name. But they, literally, bro, I showed her the card. I don't even think she really looked at the card. She's like, okay, you fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> she said... I think I think the people you were look looking at it, at it was like I don't want to. I don't do this. care. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, what about looking at? Care. No, I thought it was gonna be like a rigorous um, vetting process, and they were like actually gonna like take the time. Like you have to have the card in present, and then like wait, wait. let hold me see your ID. Light. Like let me see your ID. Let wait, me wait. make sure about wait. all this stuff. Let me hold it up like like a hundred dollar bill. Like yeah. But bro, literally when we went to the MFA, um, my girl. She like she was just like oh like yeah do you guys have tickets Ooh, whatever and then she's like oh do you guys have your COVID cards or whatever we like literally held them out like this she didn't even like look at the name she just saw a white card and was like yeah so whatever. you're good All yeah right, like cool. whatever mm-hmm. I don't care like <laughs> no, I don't even have my card but you good <laughs> no. hey man if y'all want to get vaccinated go get vaccinated man. yeah if you don't want to get vaccinated don't get vaccinated <laughs> you're not gonna die if you don't it's your choice right it's, it's, I mean time time will tell though. That's that's all I'm gonna that say. That is true. Time will tell, cause like it's. I feel like it's just like the United States always says stuff is not bad for you, and then they come back like 20 years later, like, oh, yeah, yeah. sorry guys, right. but uh, right. it's like yeah. that, it's just the name of the game, you know what I mean? That, like, that diabetes me- a medicine they had that get, that fucks up your kidney and everything. Oh, oh, that, you're talking about um, what's it called? With an M, something. The insulin, insulin or is whatever. That, is it insulin? It, what are you talking about? Like people were taking it for like weight loss and stuff? No, no, for like they had diabetes. The Oh, oh, that's what I was just yeah, talking about. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. nah. It's stuff with an M for sure. They, 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 it's like a pill. I think it was. Yeah, they, they'll take it to like equalize or just like stabilize. The Mesothelioma. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to agree with you too much. Yeah, that's that's it for sure. That's it for sure. But no, it, it might be, bro. It might be. <laughs> I think you're right, bro. But nah, yeah. So uh, uh, I think like five, or six, eight years or ten years later, bro, people were having like problem, kidney problems and everything. But like, yeah. you're taking it for like over like thirty years and everything, bro. You. Your kidneys fuck, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's nothing you can really do. Yeah, you never know with stuff, man. Yeah, it's, it's a chemical at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. they they did. Win, uh, some people win, win, uh, won some cases against the, that medicine, mm-hmm. but now nah, you can't really do it now because, like, bro, anybody get you not the, you're not a lot of people, you know. So you just one person now because people should have been known not to take that shit. Yeah, the doctor tried to put my mom on that shit, but luckily Muka knew about it. My sister mm-hmm. knew about it. Mm-hmm. She's a man. nurse. She was like, "Oh no, nah, I don't, don't take it because there's a lot of cases of people having like uh, kidney problems and everything." I think there's mm-hmm. a lot of cases in terms of like medication that's not good for you, and then they come back and they're just like, "Oops, yeah. like yeah. my bad." Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think most painkillers, killers, or pain relief medicines you're not supposed to take too much of. You mean like opioids particularly, or just like pain like medication? Ibuprofen? No, I don't like oh, pain. Oh yes, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, ty- Tylenol. Like, if you take too much Tylenol in excess, it like damages yeah. your liver. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. um, yeah. yeah, ibuprofen. Like, I think is your kidney or some something like that. Like, yeah. yeah. So I didn't know that. Yeah, it's very, it's very crazy. But I think that um, in terms of like pharmaceuticals and stuff like that, and like medicines, the U.S. is sort of programmed and like big pharma companies are programmed to basically just do um, maintenance medication. Like, they don't want... they. I'm sure that there's probably extensive research that, like, you can take a medication to, like, get rid of a certain symptom or something like right. that. But, like, they don't make money that way. Mm-hmm. They make money by maintenance. Like, yeah. you need this medication and stuff Thanks. like that. Mm-hmm. Like, you need to continuously take this. Yep. And yeah. That's why medication and... Health problems will like ultimately never go away. Yeah. yeah. Ever. You just have to live a healthy lifestyle and eat yeah. well. FDA, he knows too much. Work Get out. It's <laughs> all him. I didn't, I didn't even agree, bro. <laughs> bro, next, next next minute I'm gonna see like a little red dot. Like <laughs> have you heard that? Like, like how yo, the what CIA is that? like kills people yeah, or whatever. It's, nah. it's, it's a conspiracy theory, but like they say that there's like this um oh, that's crazy. This like little gun or whatever. Mm-hmm. 
like a, a gun, but like it, it's like it shoots you and it feels like a pinch or something. And then like you'll see like a red dot, like it's chicken pox on your skin. And then next day, you're dead. Gone. I mean, gone. Gone, man. Yeah. I, I don't, the FDA is going to pay someone and it'll just be like, I don't go put get it past that him, guy. Man. He knows too he knows much. Too much. <laughs> don't put it past him, He knows him, too man. much, man. Uh, right. Ever since they created that, the, the spray, the spray that, you know, the people in the NFL or sport players, and when you get hit or something, like it hurts a little bit, they spray it. All of a sudden, you good, bro. I'm like, bro, I, I don't know about that one, bro. It's like a white spray. Like, a you know, spray. A spray is like a... Is it like an over-the-counter? It's like a prescription nah, nah, drug. No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't know about it. It's got to be a prescription drug. Nah, it's just because they use it in the NFL. Like when people get hit or whatever. A spray. They a spray. They spray it over the wherever you got hit or something. And then and then it's quote-unquote stop hurting or something. I, I'll search it up. Interesting. And, yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Because only, the only like pain relief that I've heard of is like Toradol and stuff like that. Like where... They'll actually like give you injections. Yeah. Like, um, what's it called? The the Aaron Hernandez um documentary. Have you seen it? Have you guys seen it? Nah, no. no, it's, it's seen pretty it. crazy. Yeah. There's a lot of crazy stuff I was talking about Jeez. in it, but um, they talk about how uh, like he would play through like broken bones and like like sprained um Jeez. ligaments and all that stuff like that, mm-hmm. like uh, torn ACLs and whatnot, whatnot, and like other sports players, professional sports players will do that too, where they'll just bring you literally back to the locker room and we'll have the team doctor and the obviously the coach doesn't want to see his star player out so he's just like man just patch him up and put him back in the game yeah it's so like they'll literally take this stuff called toradol which is um it's like in a liquid now i think but i think it also comes in pill version right. mm-hmm. uh and they'll in, like suck it up in a syringe like inject you and it's like almost instantaneous and then like you don't feel pain yeah, and crazy. you just go back in the game and play with broken that's limbs <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like they definitely did that wild. to Mahomes last yeah. Super Bowl. I'm yeah. sure they did. When you know when he hurt his ankle, I forgot what play it yeah. was. And he's ha- fuck. he was oh, he was limping, couldn't move, especially when you're playing, and especially for the Super Bowl. Right, I mean, you're, you're pumped up on so much adrenaline. Yeah, you are. If something hurts you, that means that is it, bad. Yeah, that it's means bad. Yeah. It, you got some damage there. Yep. He came after halftime, perfectly fine. I was like, they yo, they yep. they shot you with some steroids. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> like, something. Let's be real. Yeah, they did. Your body bad. cooled down. The pain's gonna hurt even more. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Come on, bro. Yep. Absolutely. Came back. Oh no, I'm fine. I'm able to jump on it. It's like, yo, they definitely that's hit you crazy. with some steroids. Not sure if that's legal or not, yeah. but they definitely hit yeah. you with some steroids, bro. I gotta say, I gotta Back. use restroom. So yeah. yeah. I mean, we gonna wrap it up, right? Because yeah. I don't know how long we are. Um, hour and fifty four minutes. God. Damn. Um, hey, yo, that's episode like thirty. Tulani, what you got going on this week? Uh, this week I have got more business planning going on. Um, I'm going to be basically having a few meetings with a few people um, and just vetting out some ideas further. Um, Perlin and I got some stuff in the work. So uh, just going to be doing that. Aside from that, um, yeah. Okay. It's pretty much that. I mean, All right. yeah, other right. than that, it's just like the everyday stuff, paying bills. Keeping stuff afloat, <laughs> as you a know. Yeah. That's a, a fact. Yeah. All right, uh, Matias, what you got? I mean, I got basically the same thing. Not the same thing. Like same thing. I've been. I have going on at work. I got work. Let me see what I have. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to date you the whole day in front of me. Yeah, <laughs> basically, yeah, work and uh, some certain gigs on Saturdays and Sundays. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, not not too major, nothing too major. And uh, also gonna be working on my car. Okay. That he yeah. races only on the race. Track. Oh, only on the racetrack. Only, only on, the race. on the racetrack. I, I don't really. I the way I so the, what I do to my car, like the shocks and everything. I have it. Uh, ah, baby. <laughs> I have it on. Uh, I have dampers. I have a uh, cold louvers. So I sometimes I put it on soft, like if I want to just want to chill, mm-hmm. and I put it on hard. One time I put it on 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 the last level of hard, bro. It was not it. You feel every little bump. The all car was shake, all shaking and everything, bro. Yeah. That it was a fun experience, but it, it wasn't a fun ride, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, so I I just I, I don't I don't really just push my car every time. I just I just like the fact that I have I keep my, my mind off like certain bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Like some some shit that's going on in my life, you feel me? So like I feel that. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Me doing some other bullshit to the car fixing like I mean the sharks, I needed to change it because the rears are like getting lower. It's about to be it's about to blow. So I'm I'm trying to change <laughs> it before it blows. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you know it's gonna start leaking and everything, and now yeah. the whole year, you know what I'm saying? You don't want that. And it's all downhill from there. Yep, yep. And now your suspension's fucked up. You gotta, you gotta change. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? You know that, that's how car works. Yeah. If you take too long to fix some, a bunch you know, of other stuff. Yeah, yeah. snowball effect. Yeah. 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 Yep. yep. But yeah, so it, that's mostly why I just work on my car. 
Just yeah. for no reason. Okay. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna do that in work and in gigs. And I'm gonna be back here on Sunday. Yes, sir. Please, on time. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, it depends, it depends <laughs> on when my church my church ends here. Hopefully, right. it, hopefully it ends before four. Before yeah. the, there won't be any delays also because we're watching the game. <laughs> we're back, watching the Ravens we versus back, back, back. Chiefs game. Very so. disappointing game again. Yeah. Just to oh, bring game. everything full circle. Yeah. Very disappointing. Damn, bro. Yes. Lamar played be better than Mahomes. Hmm? Lamar play had way more yards, not way more yards, but he had more yards than, than Mahomes because you know you know the game's rigged. The game is rigged, indeed. Bro, they, huh? Oh, like Detroit's I told you, I, I told you, oh, blue, blue and red, bro. Y'all don't listen. Hey, blue and red, bro. Detroit. Yep, I knew it. All right, um, yep. we're gonna finish the uh, other half of this <laughs> this NFC game. Create next Q episode thirty. Thank y'all for showing up. Peace. Peace.